What's up, everybody? Especially those of you outside of the United States of America criticizing our UFO trials. <laughs> <laughs> I see a lot of memes being posted by you. Wait, are people talking shit? Yeah, they're talking shit. Oh, look at all the UFO sightings in the last hundred years. They're all in America. Why would they go to you? That's a great point. <laughs> what reason do they have to go to you? Oh, fish point. and chips, maybe? Oh, that I must doubt. be fun. I really Watch doubt. Watch the changing of the guard. Oh, do they think oh, they like cricket? I can't wait to do it. <laughs> yeah. I'll go look at the shit that we built in Greece thousands of years ago. Y'all didn't even build it. The aliens came down and helped you. And now look what you did. Fucked it all up. Mm -hmm. They out here with the new generation. Yep. That's Facts. why they fucking with us. <laughs> I'm tired of these jealous pieces of shit. Yo, they're posting the same fucking meme. Yo, think of aliens, Egypt. That's basically the empire of the exactly. time. Greece, yep. empire of the time. Yes. They're coming to the empires of the time. Mm -hmm. This is the empire if of the time. If you visit America, you're visiting New York, you're not visiting fucking Des Moines. Thank I'll you. see you Thursday. Thank you. They know what y'all look like, and it's boring over there. <laughs> they know what y'all look like, and it's boring over there. Thank it's you. It's fun for us. Yeah, we go over there. Take a picture at the Acropolis. Yeah. Okay? Go visit Rome. Coliseum, amazing. That's old shit. Mm -hmm. They want new, new. So what are they about to build here? They just, they want to try an electric car. They want to try air conditioning in the summer. Mm -hmm. Europeans don't know what a that Krona. means. They maybe want to try they a want Krona. Krona. They want to try a Coca-Cola with ice. It's 95 degrees out. Yep. That's a great Why don't we point. put some IQ in a motherfucking Coca-Cola? I didn't uh -huh. pronounce ice well that time. <laughs> it worked but I did my best. You British, though. actually. I did all say IQ. IQ. <laughs> and IQ. They just want to try 21st century shit. Yeah. We're in the 21st century, yeah. right? Okay, let's do it. <laughs> I think so, yeah. Now, that being said, that UFO trial is complete bullshit. But I just, <laughs> I just, I just, I just, yeah, I just on, it's complete. It's bullshit. Yeah, it bullshit. really is, it really is. But if you're not from America, shut your mouth. <laughs> Aliens are not interested in you and your shenanigans, okay? That don't mean it didn't happen, just because these three are full exactly. of shit. Exactly, what y'all got a windmill? Yeah. We gonna go look at windmills <laughs> in the Netherlands? You think aliens are gonna travel light years away to see a windmill? <laughs> Getting a UFO over to see that tiny ass car you putter around yeah. with? What yeah. is this? It's yeah. a mockery. Yeah, I'm gonna go see a Vespa. It's hey. a mockery. Yeah. Yeah. They're making a mockery. <laughs> it's a mockery of humanity. <laughs> They're making a mockery of all the technology that the aliens have bestowed on us. What are we doing with it? Flashlight? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Soul suckers. Dude. Soul suckers, bro. Yeah. That's what we're doing. I'm abduct my dick, dude. That's Let's what I'm talking it, about. Huh? Beam me up, Scotty. <laughs> Beam me up. You know? What else we got that they don't have in Europe? Son, you said it, but Central Air is the greatest shit in the history of the world. That's why I said, what else? <laughs> but specifically, because I already said it, but let's and you don't need it. to keep saying it. What else? What Window else units. we got? What else do we got? Everything. God damn, we got bro. We got everything. We Final even, Cut Pro. We even got the we shitty got stuff in other places. What? We got Latinas. We got Latinas Come shaking on. ass. You know they're here for the Shaking Latinas. ass. Come on, I mean. Man. That's true. Aliens, what are they going to do? They're going to go to fucking Great Britain, mm. see some freckled bitch with teeth in every direction? <laughs> they don't want that. They don't even got teeth where they from. They're going to go there and see some jagged tooth wealth bitch. <laughs> <laughs> do you think that's what the fucking alien wants to see? No. Nah. No, nah, bro. They're, yeah. they're coming to America. Bro, Hollywood. Imagine traveling 400 light years. 400, 400 light years. 400 light years. Did you see? I <laughs> Hi, welcome to my brain. The guy's like, dude, there's intelligent life. If you go down that way, there's a blue planet. There's intelligent life there. And then you get to whales and you're like, Rrr. nothing, bro. <laughs> Maybe not too intelligent. Not anything. <laughs> they don't even abduct them, bro. Yeah, no, no, no. They make a left. Yeah, dude. dude they, they hit Europe and make a left. This, this is how bad it is. They take cows before they take them, bro. <laughs> If I had a bam, 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 I would hit that shit. Give me some points, dude. Bam, bam, bam. Do I not get any points you for that? You get fucking points what for that. Go. That's 100 points right there. I'm horn. just saying, dude. That's why they're not interested in you guys. Mm. They're not interested. Do you know where aliens did go? Actually, quite recently? Where? Brazil. Oh, oh yeah. In the 80s, right? Yeah, the Virginia incident. Exactly. 1986. Mm -hmm. They started narrowing pussy hair off of them <laughs> Brazilian bitches, oh, and then aliens hit the like, spot. Yo, this shit is in, they yeah. created Latinas. the BBLs, bro. Yeah. Say, say they created the Brazilian butt lift. Say with your chest. Oh, man. Say technology. Oh, my God. They bring the <laughs> technology on, that dog. we need. Come on, They dog. bring the technology that we need. Yeah. Fact. They bring a Brazilian butt lift <laughs> to Northern Ireland. <laughs> Bro. Do you know what I mean? Do you think they took that home, though? You think the aliens got BBLs now? Oh, absolutely. Bro! Know. They I had BBLs. They got they the BBLs. They oh. got the lips. They got titties now, bro. 
Aliens, bro. That was the exchange? Yeah. Bro, of course. They're going to learn some stuff from us. We're going to learn some stuff from them. Yeah, They're yeah. going to accentuate everything that, that we have. Mm. Yeah. You know? Mm. They're going to accentuate everything we have. They went to Brazil, bro. Mm. Where else did they go? Shit. I mean, a lot of South America. A lot of South America. Latinas, bro. You said it. That's what I'm saying. If I was an alien, you said it. Thank you. You wouldn't want to go to India if you were an alien? Bro, if you're an alien and you go to China... And you just look like everyone else there. Is there <laughs> okay. any point no, of it? See, that's, that's is there too any like you're gonna travel 400 light years <laughs> see, to just be with the fam? Like, is there just to be with the fam, just to fit in? That's what you think that they gonna do? To be in traffic, to sit in bicycle traffic? You gonna travel 400 light years to sit in bicycle traffic? Is that what y'all would want to do with that it's, time? It's not birthright. You know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah. It's they're, not, not, they're not going home. <laughs> they're not going home, bro. <laughs> what are you doing, bro? Yeah. You're going to travel all the way there to walk up a thousand stair staircase? Yeah, That's what you want to do? Uh, oh, look yeah. at this wall. You want to see the Apple corporate office or where they're building the iPhone? Thank yeah, you. Yeah, exactly. Thank Fuck you. all that. Take me to the Apple corporate office. Thank that you. looks a lot like... <gasps> that looks a lot like... Mm, like aliens built A motherfucking built spaceship, mm -hmm. bro. Mm -hmm. A motherfucking spaceship. That's all I'm trying to say. I see you're jealous. I see you out there with your memes trying to talk shit like we crazy. We are. <laughs> but, but it makes sense. Mm. It makes sense. They would not come to y'all. Y'all living in the past. Do some new shit. Europe, do some new shit. It's getting old. <laughs> it's getting old. How much new new have we seen come out of Europe lately? Nothing, bro. Even the sports they play old as fuck. Invent right. a sport, Tennis. Yeah. Invent Golf. a sport. Oh. Invent a sport at least. Yeah, How many sports we invented? American yeah. football. football. The best football. Basketball. Basketball. Paddle. Baseball. Football. Oh, pickleball. Paddle. Pickleball. We, we, we didn't paddle. Paddle. Spike we ball. We didn't Spike ball. Paddle. Paddle. Who did paddle? Spain. 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 No, 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 no. You think Spain did that? They did. They did. Bro, they not white, though. You know what I mean? Yeah, Spanish ain't white. You know what I mean? Spanish ain't white, bro. I'm that, I'm that, we got to just See, call it what it is. They're more Moroccan. They really, if you I really look it. at Spain, yeah, mm -hmm. Spain is really African. Mm -hmm. Moors. Yep. Moors. Mm -hmm. 100%. Spain yep. is Africa. They look like Spanish guitars, bro. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I think the aliens might have went there, bro. God if damn. I'm an if I'm an alien, yeah. Shit. I might check it out. Sheesh. Bro, some of these aliens are kind of stacked, bro. <laughs> oh my god. That's what they got from us, bro. Oh my god. Them titties. That looks like that crazy one in the dog. <laughs> yeah. Yo, don't dog. finish that motherfucking sentence out. Do not finish that motherfucking sentence out. What do you say? What do you say? <laughs> What? Right. Say it, bro. Nah, I say it. Nah, it just that looked like it escaped out of North Korea. <laughs> <laughs> That's another thing. Or, oh, or did it? That's so, another thing. That looked just like him, bro. That's another <laughs> thing. How did you know that? How did bro, you know that? That is crazy. Because I thought about it. Because he saw it. Because I see it. He see I the see it. See the vision. I see the it. Heavy. Hold on, hold on. Which, hold on. Which one? That I one? think we know which one. Bro. That one? That yeah. one? Bro. Also, also, it's come to my attention Suck. that some people are right. questioning. Questioning the alien. validity <laughs> of Yomi Park's story. Yeah. The audacity. This is this is crazy. It's a lunacy. It's all, How yeah. on earth could you question whether a woman ate rats to survive as a child? <laughs> How on earth could you question whether a woman's mother was sold to a retarded farmer in China? <laughs> How on earth could you question whether these things are real? <laughs> Yeah. Like, what do you think happened? Do you think that, like, a right-wing think tank might have saw her story and used her as a pawn to get <laughs> out their ideas with zero scrutiny? Of course no. Not. That's insane. No, what do you want to say about Yomi Park, friend of the show? Why they would they say that? They would never say that. <laughs> That's the heavy queen. You better watch her fucking mouth. Sure. Absolutely. Everything dude. about her is real, bro. Every single mm -hmm. thing about that woman is real. Heavy. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. You've got to be crazy. <laughs> What are these guys so thinking? It takes a lot of balls, dude. It yeah. takes a lot of audacity. Yeah, To dude. question this woman's story. I Her know. Struggle. Fucking libs, bro. Dude, how dude, do you know this is fucking, fucking libs, libs, It might be Kim Jong-un, bro. Say what? It might be Kim Jong-un. What about it? He might be the one planting the seeds. He might be the one pushing the story. Oh, that's just not real. He's like, oh, she didn't escape. Yeah. She's from Massachusetts. Falling oh, for, falling yeah. for North, oh. North Korean propaganda. Make it make it make sense to me, because I'm, I'm missing it. Because he's going to feel bad. He's like, he's got He's got to fight a PR battle, because North Korea is looking bad. So he's like, you know what? Her story's fake. Boom. And the first people to buy up the North Korean propaganda are always the libs, bro. Always. Uh, libs. Love dude. communism. Libs, yeah. dude. They, 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 they love communism. They should They'll go to North anything, Korea. Bro. They love it. There. Yes, they yeah, do, dude. man. They should <laughs> go there, yeah. bro. I can't believe that they would question the 100% accuracy of her story. 
I don't see a, even a little bit of wiggle room <laughs> in any of the things that she's ever said. Like when she said that they have to push the trains to make them go, duh, <laughs> how else would trains go? <laughs> of course you're gonna have malnourished North Korean children pushing a gigantic fucking train yeah. yes. to make it move, mm -hmm. of course, mm -hmm. right? There's no other way it could happen. <laughs> yes. Right or wrong? I've never been to North Korea, dude. I don't know. I assume people are getting executed in the streets. That's yeah, what she that told me. Yeah, that makes more sense. Yeah. India could use that so we get off the top of that motherfucker. You know what I mean? Less death risk. If get you guys were it, pushing it instead of fucking Less on the top of it, that yeah. would be- 100%. That would be way better. That would be Safer. way better. Safer. 100%. Yeah. All I'm trying to say is nobody would question that about no, India. Nobody. But these fucking <laughs> libs, man. <laughs> These fucking dude. spineless lips yes. they questioning freedom, dude. a hero's journey, dude? Uh, what's a wrong? hero like Yomi Park? Yeah, what's bro? wrong? Bro? I mean, survivor, what, are, what are they going to do next? Say slavery wasn't that bad? <laughs> yeah, right. Are they going to like read Harriet Beecher Stowe's Uncle Tom's Cabin and be like, hey, this isn't what it was like. <laughs> this is an exaggerated version. Yeah, dude. They, I mean, nobody in history would do that. Right? <laughs> Nobody in history when Uncle Tom Scabbin came out was like, Harriet's exaggerating. Why don't we interview some slaves and see what they say? <laughs> yeah. They, that never happened, nah, right? They could, yeah, never, yeah. they could never. I believe you. I don't know, but I believe you. Of course it never happened. We got to start a think tank, dude. Think tanks Bro. are fire. Yes, and then hire what? Anyone, right? Like Newfound refugees that match up with our ideals? Yes. Who would do that? I don't know. But it is a good idea. It is. We should do that for something. Maybe and why would they take the money? Because they have no opportunity education or ability to do anything in life and maybe they just need to survive? Do yeah. you think that's a possible reason why they might take I, the I money? I doubt it, but- It's it, probably not. If we were to do it, I bet yeah. you we could, we could find a couple, promote yeah. the podcast through them or something. Mm. Break the whole thing down. Like, how did you, <laughs> okay. give me your you, whole You scenario. ought to sign right, yeah, it might be Let's say something. someone came from like a third world country, right? There's like, they're fleeing some type of war. There's some type of poverty. They get over here somehow. Unbelievable conditions yeah, yeah. that they came from. Yeah, right? exactly. Yeah, yeah. We hire a think tank of us. Okay. Okay. And we get as many refugees as we can. And we basically tell them, hey, promote our podcast. Anytime someone brings it up to you, like, hey, what do you love? Just be like, flagrant, I love it. And then nobody can ever question them because they came from such a horrible situation. Exactly. Mm. So are when people are like, oh my God, that podcast it. is so offensive, mm. uh, they'll be like, how dare you tell me what offensive is? Yeah. I come from a place where people are really offensive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the that's no. genius. The number one podcast of refugees, flagrant. Oh dude. my God, that's a fucking, br you're saying that people might have done this? No, I'm saying no one's done it, we're the first. This is an original idea. We're gonna be it's breaking, a gonna be breaking ground. Oh it's a my Mar god! On original I'm so idea. deep into this bit. I don't know what's. I, don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I truly have no clue. I right. think aliens are. I real. got lost and came back. You yeah. I got lost. You'll find back. I lost again. You'll find I don't it again. know if we're the good guys or the bad guys. Yeah, but I know lost. the libs are bad. Yep. Yeah. I know there you those go. You're back. Libs are you're back. I'm back. Right. Okay. Yeah. You're back. I know those fucking libs, dude. We gotta own those libs, dude. Want to react to this? Come react to that. Get triggered by that. You know. Yeah. Oh my God, they're so triggered. Dude. They're so triggered all the time, dude. <laughs> Thank God we're never triggered by anything except the things that trigger us. Yeah. <laughs> and those are okay to be triggered and by. those are okay to be triggered by because fucking God said so. Yeah. Yeah. Or whoever else, yeah. Ron DeSantis. Yes. Because God and Ron DeSantis, Ron can't cheers a beer and drink it to Bro. save his life to Why was us. Trump taking shots at this man? <laughs> you saw this? Trump, what time uh, is I it? I didn't see this This one. is, you gotta play it. Uh, Bro, the go, the go. I haven't seen this. I'm excited. It's to unbelievable. Go. Why uh, can't you libs get one fucking person that's as charismatic as Trump? <laughs> that's all everybody wants is a charismatic liberal. That's it. So yeah. that and just to true. take over the world. That is true. If you had a liberal that would take shots like this at one in the morning Bro, on Instagram. Literally last this is night. Trump's Instagram page. You need the volume. One in the morning. You need the volume. Doesn't belong. Can you tell which thing is Oh my god, really? The by the time I finish this song. Watch this. Watch this. Watch <laughs> this. Watch it. Watch it. <laughs> 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 I mean, just post it. No cap, just one caption. Awkward. Awkward. And then just keeps them moving. Oh, that's man. It. That's it. Crushed them. Donnie so, T just takes shots. Your present? You so want your president doing this? Even though I do this constantly throughout. I'm rubbing my nose constantly no, yeah, throughout yeah. the podcast. Yeah. But that's not presidential. No, it's not that's presidential. True. I'm more of a dictator. Tour announcements. Austin, I'm coming to the one, the only, the comedy mothership, September 8th and 9th. Those tickets go on sale today, Tuesday, 10 a.m. 
Eastern Standard Time. That's 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. Get on that immediately. I will see you there for those shows. Also, we're coming to Niagara Falls, September 22nd, Falls View Resort and Casino. And September 23rd, we're coming to Windsor, Ontario, the Coliseum at Caesars. And of course, Dublin, Ireland, October 12th. We will see you there. Also, Mbappe is not taking an extraordinary amount of money to go to the Middle East, but that doesn't mean Schultz isn't, okay? And while I am confusing my Middle Eastern countries, a little later this week, you'll find out wh which one we're coming to. <laughs> Tickets at theandrewschultz.com. So stay tuned for that and more dates. Thank you so much. Peace. Also... Cucks, the Bum Ass Cities Tour, still going strong. And I say Cucks because I'm one, and I want to see you supporting your own at these shows. First of all, thank you. The New York City Comedy Club show is already sold out. The residency is done. Thank you guys for buying tickets so quickly. Omaha, Nebraska, this week, August 2nd. Uh, Des Moines, Iowa. I don't know where Iowa is on a map. That's why I don't know also where Bangalore is on a map. But that's August 3rd. Indianapolis, August 23rd. Louisville, Kentucky, August 24th. And this is important. We added another special taping. We went to the venue this past week. We tried to add more seats. We could not. So we just negotiated with the venue and added one more show on Friday. Get your tickets at akashsing.com for all of these shows because they will sell out. Thank you so much. Now let's get back to the show. You think you're slick. I see you over there. You're starting to fade it, bro. No, I'm not. Nah, there's a little fade on that. I swear to God, I'm not. Yeah, really? I haven't even got it what? since last week. What is the fade? There's Dude. a little. It's a tight. Before, it used to be a sharp line. There's hey, a little, shut up. Hey, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. There's hey, a little no, fade not. on hey, that. Hey, shut up. So. Hey, no, I'm not. Hey, no, nah, I'm, I'm going to get an extra sharp <laughs> just for fucking here. Do you know why? Because people are starting to bite my shit now. Oh, Go yeah. Go to Sam Smith. Mm hmm Check this out. That gay Luciferian fucking Damn. devil worshiping that's not, okay. singing guy. That's oh. not the guy you want to rock your shit, bro. Yo, it's not and also the guy who won in the boxing match. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody's going after the hard line. I'm just telling you it is what it is, bro. It always starts with the fucking libs, dude. The libs <laughs> always start. They always start, and then it comes down. Bro, oh, this one right here? Shit. Yeah, it is what it is, yeah. guys. It's. Yo, yo, yo. How come he's them. pulling it off better than you, though? Yo, yeah, but now y'all hate it. No, 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 no we're not going to do this. I ain't going to lie. We're not going to do this. That shit looks kind of fire. That shit looks kind of fire. We're not going to do this. Son, son. Son. Why didn't you son. bleach blonde and put it at the angles? Like, yeah. That's what you yeah. fucked up. My bad. They they are killing that shit. They are killing that shit. I think you just need a macho guy to do it and pull it off. Yeah, that's really what it is. Keep scrolling through the pictures because it gets crazy real quick. Nah, but Angle is kind of hard. That bro. shit is tough, bro. Oh. Keep scrolling. Oh, that's oh. it. Oh, oh god damn. Get it. Oh. Get it. Bro. That, Get it. That is why. Get it. All ages show, by the way. Get it. Does I mean, he, does you, he still sing like love songs? At this point, you know what it is. Yo, he's a beautiful singer. <laughs> he's a, he's, a, he's incredible. That first <laughs> album was so that's good. Funny. That's crazy. Okay, so all I'm trying to say is cool. there was the boxer that was on the card last night. You shouldn't night. have led with that, though. You shouldn't have let with Sam Smith <laughs> got my hair cut. <laughs> yeah. You should not have let with that. That's where you went wrong. Hey, man, I, I, you know what I mean? We're at the bottom of the barrel let's here. Think, I, I got to go with whoever grabs it. Let's, let's you know think I mean? tank this next yeah, time. Yeah, 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 think yeah, yeah, tank. Yeah. That's why you need a think tank. Yeah. These fucking conservatives get it. This These guy. cons get it, dude. Oh, These God. fucking cons. This, is this guy, dude. Come on, bro. You, you wouldn't squeeze them titties together, rub your dick right between them? You wouldn't do that? You would never do that with that? They would love it. They would. Yeah, I might have to, dude. And I'm not the only one. <laughs> anyway, would. listen, those are just some things That's we good. had to that get on. That was good. That's a Neither Sam Smith that. song. Neither I'm oh. not the only one. Yeah, <laughs> how does, it, how does it go? I know I'm not the only one. Wow, yeah. I didn't remember this. Wow, song. you really went for the falsetto. Yeah, right no, that wasn't even falsetto. That was so good. Oh god, dude, that was, <laughs> that's just that my, was, that's just that my was normal, the worst part. I know. Range, dude. That was the worst. I didn't part say you did it well. No, I'm a bit of a singer. I'm a bit of a of a musician. Oh, are you? Yeah. All right, sing your best song. I hot shot. Why don't you sing your best song right now? So yeah, I, come on. It's your moment right here, it's your no, 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 don't put it on now. Yeah, what's your best? Why don't you sing your best song, because you know Al's already going through his mental road. <laughs> <You're already laughs> He's coming in you next. Already He's don't. coming in next. Come on. Sing your best song, bro. I'm trying to think of a Use banger. Al's dick as a wireless <laughs> microphone. <laughs> it's not wireless. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, go, go. Boom, Mike. <laughs> All right. 
<laughs> nah. <laughs> nah, it's kind of hard to think of yeah, from the top. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's so good. That's so good. Just, just sitting no, I'm doing just sitting that. No, no, I'm doing John Cage, bro. Oh, it's, it's silent. It's silent. He's going through it so bad. You just oh, it's dude, not a horrible right box. Don't let Even him go. The cup is spinning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is the spin cycle. This is the real spin cycle. Okay, bro. Just come on. What do you got? Give us something nice. Oh, do, do you want Al to sing no, and no, then no, you no, come no. in next? Because you can have I, all the ideas once Al Do I have to start from it. the top, though? No. Oh, whatever part, hey, whatever you're confident right, in. Go. The very first time. Boom. That, come on. Let him go. Let him go. Why did he do that? Give me a chance, bro. You just sandmanned him. Yeah, that was crazy. Don't get took my fucking song. What are, you, what are you mixing in your water? This cup has been empty for 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think there's anything in it? No. I'm go, making go, an go, air go vortex. His, his emotions. Go very first time. Go to your, what Come is on, that? Oh, no. He hates this song if because I he's not in it. Hey, he's not in it. it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go, Mark and... The very first time that I saw her brown eyes, your lips said hello and I said hi. I knew right there you were the one. Ooh. But I was caught up in physical, physical attraction. attraction. No, Andrew, we're good. All right, sorry. But, but to my satisfaction, <laughs> baby, you were more than just a friend. <laughs> and if I ever Like you. So, yeah, it's just stuff like that. Scott! You know, just get yeah. so, you know, Don't let him around your girl. You bro. gonna dap him up after we just backed up that whole thing, bro? <laughs> so bro just, that was, that was, was a When I start right singing, y'all back it up. Duo. You know what I'm saying? Oh, shit. I'm about to make him back it up again. God don't make damn. Me, don't make he's me. talking to you. Nah, he's talking to you. I, I see no shots. Those shots going on. Sing, bro. Yo, back it up. I got told not to sing. Nah. I didn't even sing. He's backing that at you. You dapping him up while he's shitting on you. No, that was a duet, right? It's a warfare. Damn, yo, calling it a duet. That was a duet. Calling it a duet. Yo, you scared. You scared. Don't let him gas you up. You scared. That's why you calling it a duet. Duets, bro. We killed you up. Yeah, we killed that. Yeah, we killed that. Don't let Paul George. Don't let Paul George. Don't let him gas you up. You don't want to be the number one. You don't want to be the number one. Ebony and irony right here, bro. You're not going to say anything. You just go ahead. Irony? Yes. Oh, my God. Ebony. Hold on, Dov. You don't know what just happened, and you're trying to move on, and we need to sit in this moment. Al just that was said, a joke, it's bro. ebony and irony. <laughs> no, I know it's ivory. It's what? I know it's ivory. Okay, That was a God, joke, bro. That was a joke. I thought that was we a had good an joke. Alex. That might be the greatest joke of all time. That's <laughs> so on. funny. Yeah. How are you not making the comment that he's been, he matched his beverage with his outfit? Or his uh, outfit yo, with Dove, his you coming at me, bro? You're drinking you're rosé. You're really getting it from all angles, son. And, and it's time 11 to sit. Hey, hey, it's time to you sit. You got Sam Smith teams no, 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 right no, no, there. You better relax right now, son. You better relax, You better relax. Put up or shut up, bro. Come on, Al. It's time to sit. We'll back you up, though. Nah, he killed me, bro. He killed me. I'm going to give it up to him. I'm going to give it up to him, bro. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yo, you've been scared lately, yo. Yeah. You've been scared since lately. Since his past bro. life regression, ever since he found nah. out he was actually a white guy, yeah. confidence has been through the ground. Play basketball. <laughs> yeah. uh, I, was, uh, I, I looked down. down so I looked down. I was like, damn, damn bro. Right? God damn. I see what y'all go through. See? I see it. Come on, Al. Come through with a song, bro. Y'all yeah, sing with me, though. Well, of course we're going to sing. Of course. <laughs> Are we doing Halo? Yeah, we do Halo. Pretty do you even know that one? I don't. <laughs> but y'all sing it with me, so let's go. Hey, I mean, I am so sorry. Y'all gonna right carry now. me, my family. Come on. Start it up. I rapped Salt and Pepper Shoot. Halo, Halo. No, no, remember those walls I built. <laughs> let's go. I, don't, I really don't know this song. Do you wanna remember learn a those? sea shanty? <laughs> no. No, no one no, wants to I'll, I'll teach everyone a fucking shanty. SpongeBob SquarePants song, dude. <laughs> no one wants nah. that. Can we talk about Obama's Obama. dead cook? Okay. <laughs> we, can we, we just can we go back to aliens it? for one second? Okay, let's go back to aliens. Yo, this, is how, yo, this is how badly right wing people want to be conspiracy theorists is a black dude drowned and all of them are like, what's the cause? <laughs> 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 Nobody is looking at the fucking obvious <laughs> most, answer. The most realistic <laughs> yeah. cause. Okay, wait a minute. Are we talking about UFOs or are we going to talk about the dead cook? <laughs> Whatever, we can talk about it. No, let's finish up on UFOs. It's UFOs. Great. Okay, I thought we it's were done. Good. I just need to get my punchline. Here's out. the thing That's with all. the UFOs. So this guy goes up. <laughs> what's his oh, name? God. Strauss or something like that. 
Grush. 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 Yeah, yeah, David Grush. Krause is from uh, Oppenheimer. <laughs> this is the thing. The guy has no evidence himself. Not, not he just spoke to somebody. Same with another guy, Graves, Ryan Graves or something like that. Right. Both. They just spoke to somebody who said yeah. they had access to it, et cetera. Okay. And I really, truly believe that this guy wants to know if it's true so badly. Yeah. He feels like he's this close. Yeah. And if he can get the government to force those people to tell the truth, then he'll know. He's this close to know if there's uh, life on other planets. He's this close to knowing if UFOs have landed here. He's this close to knowing if we have their technology. Mike. It is absolutely bullshit. Yeah. Nothing. Mm. Not even a shred of proof. The only thing is, is the pilot that saw the what? The Tic Tacs. The, the only thing is the pilot that saw the Tic Tac, which is a Chinese drone. We've already heard that it is what it is. He also said he saw it for five minutes and then his like co-pilot or like some other lady was like, it was like five seconds, maybe eight seconds. So even then, uh, it's just like- I don't know, David Fravor's account is like fairly accurate in my opinion. Like, no, no, it's, it's like, accurate. It's just, he's describing a Chinese drone. He's not describing an alien aircraft. You, you think so? That's what I heard from the Air Force guys. That hmm. they're just like, yeah, it, they, everybody calls it UFO because it's moving in ways that we haven't seen, but these like high powered, high tech drones can do it. And what the Chinese do is they hide them in their container ships. So as they're traveling around, they can kind of do whatever. And then when they get close enough to the shores, they can uh, go. Nah, but they basically. What's your source, bro? Don't be like the dude on, on Can Trump. we bleep it? <laughs> uh, <laughs> do we have the same drone capabilities? Do you know? I think they have, they have things that can move faster. Than what we have. Because we have hypersonic or they have super, we have supersonic, they have hypersonic. Gotcha. But I don't know if that's applied to drones, but they can go, they can move things faster. I don't know if they're doing that with the drone just yet. But who knows, maybe we also have it and we don't want them to know that we have it. Can I ask you an honest yes, question? You can. If we're identifying Chinese drones, isn't that still alien spacecraft? <laughs> Technically. Technically, yeah, I mean, at least technically, half, 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 half alien spacecraft. Technically, yeah. technically, technically, 100%. But yeah, I'm just like, he, because David Fravor's thing when he was on Likes, he Can was we like, just fill everybody in on what this theory is? <laughs> let me just explain. No, no, you want to go all in? Let's go. <laughs> let, me just, let me just explain. I have a theory. Sorry. I think that Sorry, aliens Miles. came here and I think that they mated with all of us. Yes. Okay? And okay. I think their favorites <laughs> were the Asians. And that is why. What makes you say that? Because all of us kind of look similar. Even Akash's people are right next door to the aliens. The aliens are right next door. It's like a one little wall, and then they're right yeah. on the other side. Right and there's a distinct difference in facial features. Like if you go from Africa to, you go to the top of Africa, Morocco, Algeria, Tunisia, and then you start to go into Sicily, it's like, okay, there's like a little blend here. We got a nice little blend it's a fade, going. if you will. Spain, <laughs> there's a nice little fade. Wouldn't know anything about it, but there's a nice little fade, and then you go all the way up to okay. Ireland, Norway, et cetera. India, other side, it's a different ball yeah. game over it's, there. This theory checks it's out. It's a different ball, and it's just, they were the favorites of the aliens. We all got fucked by aliens. But the aliens were really getting it in over there. Who loves Asian they're... women the most? Aliens. What? Yeah, I'm serious. Like, who do you think loves them the most on Earth? Oh, uh, Jewish guys. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. Are you saying Jewish people are aliens? You think that, Jewish are, they, are, they, are these the original aliens? If they love Asian women the most. No, we kept trying to kick them off this. They <laughs> said they yeah. exactly. yeah. enough yeah. times. Who built the pyramids? Aliens? The aliens and the Jews. I think the aliens were competing with the Jews for Asian women, and that's <laughs> why the aliens have turned so many different groups against the Jews. Oh, fuck. Oh, uh, I think that's, that's what it is. Fuck. Number, number one They ops. forced them. They forced them out no matter where they are. These aliens were like, well, you know, why are you fucking our Asian bitches? No, y'all got to go in the desert. Why are you fucking our Asian bitches? You got to leave Spain. Why are you fucking our Asian bitches. Go German. build a pyramid. Go yeah. build a pyramid. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Do some work for yeah. us. Yeah. Right. Here's how you do it. Build it. Done. Uh. So I do believe. What if it yes. was different species, aliens that only went to Asia? Listen, you're coming up with an absolutely fantastic point that I did not consider. That being said, that species has some strong DNA. <laughs> it's, that's, that's, all, that's all I'm saying. That they have... Some strong, strong, like you ever meet someone who like they're everyone the in their Asians family looks the same? Dude, the every Asians. Schultz in my family looks like a Schultz. It, they have all, men and the women, all have <laughs> a strikingly similar Schultz head. It is a very similar thing got going on, right? So we had a strong DNA alien that started fucking with us, right? Mm. What I'm saying is out there in Asia, them aliens were coming back. It wasn't a one time. 
They're like, oh no, we need, we need yeah, more yeah, of that. Yeah. We need Mao of that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, Mao, the Mao dynasty might have been alias running it back. Might have been. If we really want to oh, look wow. into it. If we really want to look into it. Might have been. Oh, that's, all, out. That's, that's the only theory that it's I'm going to present out. to you right just, now. It's just a, just <laughs> yeah. a theory. Just a theory. Yeah. yeah. And now, who got the fastest drones? Probably based on alien technology? Oh, definitely. China. Definitely. <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, I'm just saying. That is interesting. So if you Asian, that's fire. You're more alien. You got to be like. Yeah, that's strong genes. That's sick. Yeah. yeah, that's fire. That's why you remember in Independence Day, the movie Independence Day? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Remember the Chinese government wasn't really trying to blow up the spaceships like that. <laughs> Wait, really? Nah, but it, it fits my narrative, so I'm gonna say it. Like, yeah, yeah. did you see any Asians in Independence Day? Nah, they called and they're like, Nah, I think it's good. Like, don't even trip. Yeah. That's what they were saying. Yeah. Don't trip. We good. We talking to them. What? Yep. They, it, what language do you think? Oh, that's the other thing. Okay. What no, language thing, sounds the most okay. alien? As soon as he says that's the other thing. What that, language? That is the last thing. If, if 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 you heard all the languages on Earth, what language are you like? Nah, this is from somewhere else, bro. <laughs> It's the click shit in click, Africa. The click shit is the wild. The click shit that in Africa, wild. and it's anything in Asia. Uh, it's anything <laughs> in Asia. And it's anything in Asia, right? Yo. But not my part of Asia, which is also interesting. It's not Asia. I hate that. I hate that. <laughs> you I hate that. Stop geography? Stop, <laughs> Stop it. I'm down, but you're not Asian, bro. I'm fine with that, but geography is different. That's all I'm saying. You're not you got to distinguish. Yeah, I am distinguishing. There you go. Asia. Okay. That's where they're from alien land. <laughs> That's where they're from other planets. They have the DNA from other planets a little bit more than the rest of us. Mm -hmm. That's why they're so smart. Asian, alien, it kind of lines Ooh. up. You know what I mean? Whoa. Five letters, five letters. <laughs> Look how right unbelievably <laughs> intelligent <laughs> these Open people are. Eye, bro. Real, don't don't do that. That's, <laughs> that's crazy. What you just said right there. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. You, you I made his third, third, third eye. You made his third third, the third, the third oh. one. The that's third one. crazy. It's usually closed bro. a little bit Open your third eye. So you got to open it. This guy's a menace. This guy's a menace. All right, guys, we'll take a break for a second because you know what time it is. It's summertime hot dick serving season and you know you want to be serving up that hard meat hard meat hard meat hard meat and the only way that you're going to have the hard meat as hard as possible is if you got the choosy the blue chew blue chew full mass and then you go to pound town it's that simple we know the formula is built for success and if you want to have success then you go blue chew full mass pound town Okay, that's the game. I spoke to Jordan Peterson about it. He's like, that's my 13th rule. The next <laughs> rule is going to be Blue Chew, Full Mass, Pound Town. Simple as that. And you know what? You're going to get your first month free. All you got to do is pay $5 shipping. You go to bluechew.com. Use the promo code flagrant. Let's do it right now. Peace. All I'm trying to say is shout out to Asians, bro. That's all I'm trying to say. Yeah. Is shout out, but to stop the spying Asians. on us, though. Can they stop spying on us? They're supposed to spy, bro. Yeah, they, that's spy. their. They, we're supposed to spy. They're supposed to spy. Why don't they just ask? They're like, just be cool about it. I don't know. I don't. Mm. I don't. I don't think we should just tolerate spying. That's in their DNA, bro. That's how the aliens got here in the first place. They spy. They hover. They decide who they like the best. I don't know. I feel like we should be the only ones that are allowed to spy. Hey, hey, that's what I want. I want us to be the only ones that are spying. That being said, that's the game, bro. Yeah, they gotta spy, bro. I guess. I guess. Sorry, right, let's say it's a drone. Okay. This guy is apparently talking to people that have, have seen. No, and they playing him like a fiddle. That's what I'm wondering. They lying to him. He's a patsy, but they know he's so thirsty that he's going to go do this bullshit. I think it's even worse than that. What's I that? think nobody told him shit, but he knows that they're never going to actually make somebody testify. So, so he's like, he I'm just pushing like, it. Yeah. <laughs> he could just say whatever the fuck he wants, mm. sell a bunch of books. Because he knows they're never gonna. Try but he's to. under oath, though. If they are able to confirm that he's lying, then he goes to prison for a long time. Yeah, Seriously. but to confirm they that he's lying, they can't confirm he's they... lying without those other people saying that he never. They never said anything. Now it's a he said, she said. Right, but they could go and be like, "Oh, these programs you're talking about don't exist." You're saying that there's a UAP program that's doing reverse engineering. These programs don't exist. You're going to jail. I think the program exists. They just haven't found. But like also, reverse engineering craft and stuff. Like what? He what said. is UAP stand for? Unidentified, unidentified aerial, aerial phenomenon. phenomenon. So if you have a Chinese drone, yeah. there's a program that's it's probably UAP. reverse engineering. I mean, UFO fits under that also. But like, exactly. if he's saying that they have non-human intelligence, like he's under oath saying there's non-human craft, non-human biologics, which again, I don't really even know what that means. I mean, what are the chances that there's like an alien 
dynastic family that still exists in part of Asia. Okay. And then See, one, of them, <laughs> one of them. We're trying to have a serious here. conversation about aliens, and I feel like you I'm do, having a serious you, you conversation. Derail it with, with I'm not derailing it. Okay? I'm not re derailing it. I'm just saying there is a dynastic <laughs> alien family that is still existing in Asia. Oh. The, the, just we're let all, me get there. We all have just, opinions. Just, we we just all get have there. Opinions. Okay. Important, <laughs> of the most important revelation in human history. In human history, about. I'm about to give it to you. So one of them, because they have the only ones that are smart enough and, and powerful enough to, to uh, you know, These are compliments. Uh, command, I'm the, compliments. command the spacecraft, right? That they have, that is a drone, essentially. Right. They flew it over here, right? Crash landed, Wait, not surprisingly. Okay, see, this, <laughs> this is where it goes too far. We collect, this is where it's too far. Hold on, we collect, we collect this craft, oh, and then there is biologics in it, and these biologics are slightly different. Okay, well, they're slightly different. They have because it's an ancient dynastic alien family, so they still have some of the biologics from the aliens. They have more of it. It's like you know how like the British royal family is a bunch of like cousin fucking inbred pieces of garbage. Okay. Yes. It, so if you look, if you actually look at the their DNA, right? How many chromosomes total? Eight or nine, three? Yeah. Same as their teeth. <laughs> exactly, right? So it's like, you're if you look at that royal blood much, DNA. Much less alien DNA. Also, much yeah, and less. another thing that yeah. we don't even talk about, but like the British royal fan, like they're all Germans. Like, how could you, Great Britain? Like, <laughs> pathetic. <laughs> you're gonna let a bunch of Germans just steal your fucking royal homes and this is disgusting. Wait, like, what? yes, in America, we let a Kenyan rule it for eight years, but, <laughs> you know what I mean? But it's not for eternity, you know what I mean? It's, it's, that is our, that is, you know, we got it back. Back to the aliens. Yeah, sorry, 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 sorry. We're, sorry. We're, we're Are, the we sorry. Sorry. Are we a conspiracy show? Are we a conspiracy show? We're the truth. Yeah. Show all yeah. we're the truth right. show. I think conspiracy theories would be like, well, we're not touching yeah, that. Yeah, right. <laughs> That is true. So, yeah, that is true. Okay, wh okay where are we? <laughs> RFK so is like, the government. <laughs> <laughs> Me and RFK, dude. We need to have a sit down. <laughs> and if he's ever on this podcast, I will speak to him only in his accent. It's not, not that. Not Can I hear an, an impression of that real quick? That's a, that is a, he's from Massachusetts. That's a Massachusetts accent. Oh, really? How's the sun? I want to do this. I want to make all the rivers have more fish in No, we didn't say how the women sound. We said how the RFK sound. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now do RFK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay, I'll do RFK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Wait, he has a little donkey in it, right? It's like yeah, yeah, there's a cool. little bit of a donkey in it. Oh, I do what I find. We got a kid. It's a golem. Yeah, yeah. There is precious. The vaccine is only for blacks and whites. <laughs> Is that like Marge Simpson? Yeah, he's Marge. Yeah. How old he? He is Marge. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Good call. That's it. He's Marge. <laughs> and where is Springfield? Oh, Massachusetts, shit. dude. Ooh. Also, many other places. Yeah, yeah. Many, many, many other places. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway, the, can we go back to the UFOs? Dude, we're yes. on the edge of one of the most amazing <laughs> revelations in human history, bro. Yes. Yes, we are. Either this guy, I think yeah, he's probably Yeah, we are. Dude, he got to it. Yeah. I figured it out. Yeah. Ancient I, dynastic alien family <laughs> still existing in mainland China that has maintained their bloodline similar to the British royal family, which is a bunch of inbred yokels. Yes. Right? They, they too have that. Right. Okay? Okay. My point is these ancient aliens, right? Mm -hmm. They are still using that alien technology. They have partnered up with Xi Jinping. <laughs> they finally trusted a leader. They did not trust the leaders in the past. Look at what leaders in the past did. Mao. Ugh. Murder. Disgusting atrocities that this yeah. man. So the ancient dynastic aliens would never uh, bestow uh, a leader like Mao with any form of power. But Xi Jinping, they believe in him. Hmm. They believe in him. So what chance do we have to fight against the aliens? Will Smith? Well, some might say Will Smith. I say maybe past his prime. The, here's the thing. They have the ancient dynastic aliens. Right? <laughs> yeah. They have that. But you know which aliens came to America? The black aliens. <laughs> <laughs> The black aliens came over here. We got the cool aliens. Okay. The aliens know about music. They know about food. They know about dancing. What came over here is a funny aliens. way to word it. Yeah. The most fire aliens came over Why here. Why has Lil Wayne been calling himself for the past two oh. decades? Oh. 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 200 Shit. points. Let's go. Yeah. 200 points. I'm back, dude. I'm just saying, uh. we got the black aliens. 
Mm. So what y'all gonna do now? <laughs> <laughs> what y'all gonna do now? <laughs> what y'all gonna do now, ancient dynastic aliens? You're not fucking out with you're not fucking with the black aliens. <laughs> no. The black aliens are ready to go. Are we? Yes, bro. Listen, can I be honest with you? Are we? Honestly. Historically speaking, they don't ask. They just put you on the front lines anyway. How fucking racist is Alex? Alex wore his round-eyed T-shirt to the Asian discussion show. Yo, you you are subtly one of the most racist. Hey, these black aliens, bro, they are not fucking with the ancient dynastic aliens. They are not fucking with the ancient dynastics. These waters run deep, bro. Even out of space. I did say different species of alien, bro. Dude. Come on. We don't fuck with that guy. Damn, son. Mm. <laughs> Yo, and this whole time, you know, Alex has been saying, oh, I'm actually on China's oh, side or whatever. Oh, shit. What's that, the rope of dope? <laughs> what is that, the rope of dope? Yo. Oh! Come on, son. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, China. 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 Okay. China. So. Yeah. Anyway, I shout guess. out Asia. <laughs> I guess yeah. we figured it out. Shout out <laughs> Asia. Shout out America. All right, hell Yo, yeah. Shouts to you for unlocking that. Yeah. For fuck. hundreds of years, we've been wondering. All right, you know what I'm saying? A master question. key can fuck any boy's butt. That's not how the saying <laughs> goes, bro. That's <laughs> not what it. What is it? A master <laughs> key. No. What? A boy's butt fuck. is your no, favorite lock. It has nothing to do with the boy's what is it? butt. Your boy's <laughs> butt is your favorite <laughs> lock. What's that, red, that? what's that red pill saying? No, we got to edit A boy's <laughs> butt <laughs> is your favorite lock. That's not. A master key can unlock a boy's butt. Right? What is that famous red pill quote? Wait, that's what the priest say on Sunday? What's going on, son? What no, there's a famous oh red pill quote. A, a boy's master butt. key unlocks any lock, but a lock that unlocks any key is a shitty lock. <laughs> I don't think that was it. I, I think, think it's a, a master, a a master can key a can unlock any boy's yeah. butt. No, that's but not a it. boy's butt is a lock that you want to be up in. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that a famous red Don't pill just look quote? At no, no that's this. a red pill <laughs> that's quote. Crazy. What is happening, bro? Dude, come on, <laughs> fuck libs, bro. <laughs> <laughs> fuck the libs, dude. Bunch of lockless bastards. Okay, they question. ain't got no locks. Yeah. Okay, I got a question. I yeah. got a question. Can you explain why did Obama kill his chef? <laughs> yo, 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 yo. Son, son, oh son. 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 First of all, first of all, did he or no? Can we have this conversation? Can, like can we have this conversation? Can we have this conversation? This is a conspiracy that's going around. So here's the thing, with this with this tragic incident that happened on Martha's Vineyard. Yeah. Okay. Also, can I just say one thing real quickly? When I was in the south of France, there was this beautiful vineyard. I wanted to take a jog by, so I asked the concierge at the hotel, and I was like, "Hey, man, there's a vineyard around here. Can I go take a run by? Which direction will I go?" And the guy goes, "Oh, in in English, he goes, he goes, oh yes, there is a vine yard over there. You can go take a run by." And I was like, "Oh shit." Vineyard <laughs> is just a fine yard, which in American English Gross. is disgusting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I have uh, a vineyard on my property. I have a vine yard on my property. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, vi there's a yard of vines yeah, on my property. Yeah, yeah. Isn't it crazy? Great marketing. Unbelievable Great marketing. marketing. Yeah. Just franchising anything yeah. can make it so much do you know what I mean? Yeah. Thank God there's no like grape yards in the fucking South because Southerners would ruin that. They would. They would my call vine it, yard. Yeah, they call it vine yards. I yeah. got a great Chardonnay in my vine yard. Yeah. That's Chardonnay, actually. And they'd be <laughs> very proud of it too. They would. Yeah, yeah they love mispronouncing things. Oh, <sighs> God. Yeah, dude. Like Mobile, Alabama is Mobile. Which one is right? M it's M-O-B-I-L-E, I'm pretty sure, but which is mo mobile, and you have a mobile phone, but they call it mobile. Because they just love mispronouncing things. Yeah. Italy, Texas. I got fa friends whose families there. Italy, Texas. Italy. They like really take pride in Doing pronouncing things way. poorly. I love that. Yeah, that's actually kind of, kind of like, nice about that. Yeah, the last two, I was like, yeah, that was a Italy is fire. way more yeah. fun. Italy, yo, that should be hard to say to me. Italy. Italy. If you say Italy, they're like, no, 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 that's over there. You also got to create some separation, like. There's enough separation. No, I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't think anyone's going to show up to Italy, Texas and be like, oh, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought, oh, fuck. I was wondering why the flight was so cheap, dude. <laughs> what a mistake. Okay. Obama's cook. Dies on a paddleboard in... Martha's Martha's vineyard. Vineyard. 100 feet away from the shore, eight feet deep water. The guy can swim. He can swim. There's videos of him swimming. Mm -hmm. He's, I assume, paddleboarded before. You don't go out on a paddleboard 100 feet out if you don't know how to swim. It's kind of a dangerous thing to do. Mm -hmm. um, there was a person that was like, I don't know, 100 feet away that said they saw it happen and couldn't get to them. Yeah, apparently I heard that. I don't know. In time. No one knows who like the second person is, apparently. 
I think I think this is the Maxine, bro. If I'm being honest with you, <laughs> yeah, let's go. I think that I think that he has some heart issue, like a lot of us have developed heart issues from the Maxine, <laughs> and I think he got double dose, and I think he got the boosters, and I think that Maxine kicked in right when he was on that paddleboard. Can I give you? Him. Can I give you a counterpoint? Blaming the Maxine. Go. He is black. What oh. does that mean? Probably unvaccinated. Oh. He is around Obama, and he's going to public events. Obama has to be vaccinated. Obama, one dose max. Yeah. I mean half. Yeah, I don't even think the he white half of him was like, "We'll do it." The black half was like, "I don't trust it." Bro, you think so? Single dose. I bet money Obama single dose. Ain't no way, bro. Nah, ain't I, no way. He I can go- see him being at home. Yeah, I don't trust the government. <laughs> 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 so, I can see that. Shit. I can see it. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. could see it, but it is a possibility. The only way I could see him dying on the paddleboard, the only way, is if he had some sort of cardiac arrest, something like that, or a stroke. Yes. There's no way I could see him. Stroke. Yeah, drowning. Yeah. But they haven't re- reported on that. I just can't see him falling off and drowning. I don't see that as a realistic option. Even if you couldn't swim at all. I don't know why you'd be on the paddleboard without some sort of like leash. Maybe you don't have a leash at all. I think if you can't swim at all, you're not going 100 feet fucking out, right? Two. Well, he can swim. If you've seen the video you sent. I saw. That's what I'm saying. Like, so he can swim. You can get back to the board or you can get back to shore because we know you can swim. Mm -hmm. So the only, you seem skeptical at that. No, I'm, I'm trying to find I'm trying to find a counterpoint to what you're saying. So I guess what I'm saying is if you experience some sort of cardiac situation or a stroke situation that limited your ability to swim and save yourself, that makes sense. But why aren't they reporting on that? I mean, I don't know if they've done the autopsy. I'm assuming it has to be but some other- I know other... the police did the autopsy. I know they said there's no foul play. I know they're still waiting on toxicology, which if there was foul play, I think toxicology would reveal. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like, what do you even, think toxicology is going to show? Two dates with Maxine, possibly <laughs> two extra booster situations with Maxine? Do you think I mean, it could just be like heat stroke or some shit, right? You're out in the sun all day, you get heat stroke, boom. I mean, if there's a, a, a type of person that's more built to handle that, <laughs> that I, I, you know. You think he's got it? I think it's him, yeah. It's not like an Irishman that's paddleboarding. That's true. In that's true. Vineyard but in heat summer, stroke, you know? I don't think, has to do with melanin. I think heat stroke could just get anybody anytime. I don't know if that's, a, if, I don't know about that. I'm fair. It's got to be heat. You think black people are better at saunas? Is that true? No. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. think black people are better at handling heat. Why? Is it possible to look up? I kind of, I kind of, I'm on board. I do. Yeah, they I like heat that. more than. I think you're, I just better. I think the body handles the heat and the direct sun better. Yeah, hundred percent. I can't handle heat. Why not? Like I'm always hot. That's why this room is, is always past freezing. Life whiteness. Oh, uh, it could no. be a past life. Maybe this whiteness. guy's a past life white. Yes, yes, you have that. You have. But that. nobody's gonna talk about the the spy submarines. Talk to me. Maybe it was an Asian spy submarine that took him out. Holy shit. He went out a little bit too far, got Holy a little too shit. close. Damn. Nobody talking about that. Come on, bro. I mean, it's just such an odd thing. Could also, he have just like fallen and hit his head or some that's shit? That's what I'm on also what? wondering. The paddleboard. No, come on. He's also, how old is he? It, like 45? He could be a free guy. You slip and then the paddle just happens to like smack you in a spot okay. that knocks you out. You fall, paddle hits you, or the board maybe hits you. For whatever reason, knocks you out, then you drown because you're knocked out. Yeah. yeah. Devil's advocate also, you almost drowned, I'm not even making a joke, yeah. in surfing and what didn't seem like it made well, any made, sense. Made a joke though. <laughs> but you had just no, come out. A so a conspiracy theorist would be like, Stupid. oh, he just came out with his Netflix special. He's going at everybody, going at all the oh. higher authorities. Yeah. I bet there was some foul play because that guy can surf. Why would he die on a surfboard? That's a good point. He's a trained surfer. My good thing point. with like drowning, if I'm a powerful person, I'm trying to take someone out, I'm going to go with what is the most common way that people die, right? Like just poison him or something and be like, oh, he's got, uh, yeah, he had but then toxicology would so. Toxicology would show he got poisoned. Bro, if you're the, if you're a former, if we're saying the conspiracies that like people within the elites, Obama killed this guy, I'm like, just do the thing that's the most obvious. And then cheat the toxicology. Yeah. Like, I don't think it was Obama that did it. <laughs> Who do you think did it? Uh, somebody. <laughs> No, nah, but people dying out at sea, that's, that's a... <laughs> good. It was somebody. That's a way to take people out, though. It was somebody, bro. Yeah. It was fucking what somebody did it, dude. A guy? Probably. Probably a guy. <laughs> Maybe this is a guy who lived on Martha's Vineyard, and he was like, black people are moving in? Let's cut this shit out. That's the like, Black Island, though. <laughs> oh, that's the Black Island? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Martha's that's the Black Island, but there is a larger percentage of uh, very wealthy black people that go vacation there. Oh, really? Uh, Illuminati blacks. Oh, yeah. hell oh, yeah. Fire, yeah. Dude. Oh, you got to be fire. one of those. 
Yeah. And, and when did that start? Do you know about that? Someone told me about this recently. Can't talk about that. Oh, my bad. Sorry. Damn. My bad. <laughs> Thank you. Bro, I almost tricked you into telling me no, about that can't shit. Tell about that. Damn, Damn boy. Okay. But okay. think about it. Let's say you're one of the most powerful people in the world. You're trying to take out someone that knows something, someone that's close to you. Yeah. How do you take them out? Definitely powder boy. <laughs> right? Like, if someone dies drowning, you're supposed to be like, oh, that's so weird. Who dies drowning? Right, um, that's that's yeah. a pretty uncommon way to die. Yeah. Right or no? It's gonna cr uh, create more suspicion. You're saying? Yeah, I'm like, yeah, poison him. Yeah, a car accident is more common than drowning. So car this, accident would be. Honestly. This is your argument for why there probably is no foul play. Correct. Because if you wanted to take someone out, you would do it in yeah, a less I'm, conspicuous. I believe manner. like powerful people are killing people all the time. No question. Yeah. American elites, Russian elites, whatever. People are dying, and I think it's happening in more subtle ways that don't even come on the radar. How nice is it to be Russian, where like if you don't like someone and you're wealthy, you can just kill them, and then everybody will look the other way. Yeah. yeah. It's just accepted, <laughs> and you don't have to go through this whole like sneak in the poison. Ice would be the word. Say again. If you're rich, it's nice. Convenient. Uh, for convenient. Them. Okay. Like, because in America, like, you have to sneak the poison in a like, cheesecake, and then you're like, watch him eat it, and maybe he doesn't take that bite, and you're just like, fuck. Yeah, he's like, I'm now. trying to watch my figure, and you're like, fucking don't. Yeah. Tonight, is there any? Thing in yeah. Mouth. There's ever a night to cheat. Tonight yeah. is the fucking night. Yeah, it's a stressful situation trying to murder somebody that you don't like. You talking? <laughs> you talking from experience here? <laughs> yeah. I've never tried to murder somebody. No. I mean. <laughs> Have you thought yeah. about it? No. I don't know. No. I'm trying to think if there's ever a situation where I was like, ugh, it'd be so much easier. <laughs> there was <laughs> never a couple of flight students that you wanted to take No, out? never murder. No. Never I never, never crushed your mind. Never, never heckler murder. one time, you're like, oh, I wish it just a light would fall. Somebody interview you on a Wait. podcast, maybe? <laughs> 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 that never happened? <laughs> no, no, that never happened. Okay, interesting. <laughs> yeah, I want them to live and thrive. <laughs> mm. But yeah, if you're a powerful person, how do you take someone out? I think you go the most obvious route. You got to do a heart attack while they were sleeping. Sorry. What if they were trying to poison Obama in food, and then he taste tested <gasps> the food, and then bang. Now we're talking. That's fucking good. Now mm. we're talking. That's fucking good. What wow, it was maybe a hit on Obama. Holy Tastes shit. Tastes a little bit off. He didn't think much of it. He's Holy so, shit. I think we cracked the code. I think we that got might it. be it right there. Because oh Obama, yeah, well, what do you, you're out of office. He's, he's, he's too cool to get poisoned. Yeah. He'll see you coming my Maybe way, to swap poison. the planes with him. Maybe they're trying to poison <laughs> like, Michelle. Oh, shit. They don't want her to run for president. Oh, shit. Oh. That's a big threat. And maybe this is a... Maybe this is a message. Hey, if you're even thinking of running for president, we just want to let you know we can get to you. Yeah. We're going to take this person out who's close to you. So if we can get them, we can get you. Fuck. Everyone pointed out this photo, and they were like, this happened like a couple days after the chef passed away. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, that's what that was? People that's like, so funny. His fingers are broken. He's got a black eye. I was like, you think he did it himself? Like, there's no, like, yeah. you really think Obama killed a guy with his own hands? Yeah. He's, what, 55 at this point? Yeah, I'm like, even if you're, like, the most uh, hardcore on. conspiracy theorist. Come on, say he got that. If Yo, you how wanted, many, if you wanted, if you wanted how, to do it, you got that. How many days wait, after your chef dies him? do you go golf? <laughs> Like, you can't golf that day. But no. tea times are so hard to get. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, but not if you're, not president. If you're the president. But like, So I'm just like, what is the amount? Like, a you week. can't golf a the week. day. A week. He, he only missed one meal. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, my man missed one dinner. <laughs> and he's like, I got to hit the links, yeah, bro. We got to gotta work this out. Yeah. Yo, that is... That is... This is your chef from when you were in the White House. I think so. You've known this guy for how long now? But this still yeah. sucks. It's a guy who died. So no, no, it's RIP, horrible. Man. It's horrible. What I'm trying to say is he went and played golf very soon after. Like two days after. Mm. That's a little crazy. I think you've got to at least. Everyone grieves different. Wear black. <laughs> he didn't even wear black. Yeah. He had white shorts on. You're representing. Isn't wearing I'm black. grieving. Isn't, <laughs> yeah, that's right. But isn't wearing black uh, at golf like. You're not supposed to do that? Or is that just tennis? Oh, I don't know. He is Even the 44th is president of the United that. States of America. He can wear whatever he wants yes, on true. a golf course. He shouldn't be golfing, bro. Yeah. And if true. you do go golfing, make sure nobody's taking pictures of you. Yeah. Shut the whole course down or something. You can't be out there having a good time. Yeah, it's a little crazy. Yeah. Isn't I'm also like, you're an older guy. He knows so many people. A lot of people he knows probably die. It's yeah. his chef. How close of a relationship is that? I don't know. The closest. I've never had a chef. I don't know how close that that. You're thing with is. them three times a day. How many people do you think Obama is directly encountering three times a day? Was it his only chef? 
This is private chef, so probably. His, yeah. It's his guy. And the house could be super big. They might just call him once the food is ready. Like, they might yeah, be that much I don't know if they're boys, boys, but like, you're, you are interacting and they're curating your food. They're like part of your life. They're traveling with you. At the very like, least, he's an employee that's been with you for 15 years. Since 08, 2023 now. At the very least, this is an employee that's been with you for 15 years. That's a long time. Two days. You can golf after two days. <laughs> I say you give it a week. <laughs> Maybe I just don't get golf. Yeah, that's the thing. You don't golf enough. This is it, the best endorsement for golf. It's like, how fire is this sport? Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, you just can't stay away, dude. Yeah, dude. Can't stay away. Oh, shit. He was golfing. Maybe it was the Saudis. <gasps> oh. Oh. Wait, how? They, they the run PGA golf now. They run golf. Mm. I don't know. I was trying to go with them, but I, yeah, I don't I really know. get I, am. <laughs> I was trying. I saw it. I saw just, it. You know, there's dots to be connected. All right, guys, let's take a break for a second. Listen, it's time to learn another language, okay? You got to learn another language. It's going to open up the world to you. I, I got the opportunity to go to Spain, have zero responsibility, and just learn Spanish, and it was unbelievable. I'm telling you, you need to do it. The best way to do it is immersion. That's not available for everybody. Everybody can't just fuck off for a year, okay, when you should be studying and just go to Spain and learn Spanish. That's not possible. That's a ridiculous thing that my parents have still not forgiven me for, okay? But I did get to learn Spanish. What you're gonna do is you're gonna use Babbel. Simple as this, Babbel. One in five Americans have learned a new language on their bucket list, and if that's you, you can check it off the list this summer because Babbel is gonna get you speaking a new language in just three weeks. Why Babbel? Because it works, simple as that, okay? Instead of paying hundreds of dollars for a private tutor or fooling yourself with language apps that are a little more than games, Babbel's quick 10-minute lessons are designed by over 150 language experts to help you start speaking a new language in as little as three weeks. Babbel is designed by real people for real conversations. All of Babbel's tips and tools for learning a new language are approachable, accessible, rooted in real life situations, and delivered with conversation-based teaching. You know why I need it. Why I need that? to get my Hindi accent sharper. I sound do bad it. white when I speak it. It's embarrassing. Babbel can help with that. So get on your Babbel if you're trying to get your Hindi accent, your Spanish accent, any accent, any language that you are trying to get better at which is honestly the ultimate Riz, ultimate mm. Riz, oh, yeah. busting out different languages. I mean, Dove speaks a little bit of like seven different languages and that's the maximum Riz. He's, I've never seen him sleep with a woman that speaks full English, okay? <laughs> I've never seen that happen because the Riz is immaculate in the other language. So here's a special limited time deal for our listeners to get you started right now. You get 55% off your Babbel subscription, but only for our listeners at babbel.com slash flagrant. That is 55% off at babbel.com slash flagrant, spelled B-A-B-B-E-L.com slash flagrant. Rules and restrictions may apply. Now let's get back to the show. Let's talk about um, the fact that this weekend was one of the greatest fight sports weekends in history. Yeah. Uh, Errol Spence Jr., Terrence Bug Crawford, fight yeah. for the unified 147 pound championship. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bud uh just outclasses. I mean, yeah, dude. I was rooting for Spence. He's a Dallas guy. Yeah. I ordered the fight. I'm watching just knockdown after knockdown. I'm like, what the fuck is it? People say this is one of the greatest fights matchups ever. If yeah. you want to look at both undefeated. Yeah, both, both undefeated, undefeated, both incredibly dominant in their careers. But if you want to look at actual elite boxing skill, yeah, you're not going to find another fight like this. I mean, there is only few in history where both are elite, elite fighters and tons of action. That's the thing that happens in a lot of like el when elite fighters fight each other. A lot of times it's not a lot of action because both are so good. They're canceling out each of their advantages. Mm -hmm. And it's like, okay, maybe you're going to get some strikes. Maybe you're going to get some touches, but it can be boring. This was two guys that were said, I'm going to go after it. I am not running. I'm not taking a step back to Errol Spence Jr.'s credit. He was game Till they stopped that fight. Yeah. He had yeah. no quit in him. Bro. That guy is a fucking dog. Like, say whatever you want about him getting beat. And he got beat convincingly. He has fucking heart, bro. Yeah. He was going after it. And he was, he made that fight interesting. Because it's easy to step back and go, okay, I'm going to try to uh, stick and, and uh, use the jab, get on my bicycle, move away, not let this guy touch me because he was getting outboxed. But he's like, no, I'm a dog. I'm going to get in there. I'm going to throw these body shots. If I get caught, I get caught. And he did. 
And then there's Bud Crawford and all the credit to Bud, man. That was an unbelievable performance. Elite boxing, never off balance, not for a second. Every punch he threw, he was completely on balance. Every time that he swung, he was within range. His defense was impeccable. I mean, this was one of the most glorious boxing performances I've ever seen in my entire life. I've been watching boxing since I'm a kid. Mm -hmm. This man, it felt like I was watching Floyd. Like, it was just stylistically different, but the balance. You never see Floyd off balance. Yeah. And you never saw Bud reaching too far. Yeah. You never saw his ability to throw with power. Every single time, the jab, snapping. Yeah. One of those guys who's a, uh, he's a natural right-handed dude, but he fights southpaw. So his strong uh, hands in his front. Oscar De Hoya is one of these yeah, guys yeah. that is, you know, great. But just popping the jab and his counters and always counters on balance. Crazy. It was just beautiful. This was like immaculate boxing. If there was a way to get people excited about boxing again, yeah. it was watching this fight. And it was so interesting because we were watching it at the uh, casino in AC after the show. And thank you so much, everybody who came out to the show, man. That was awesome. You were watching at the sport book and you had the UFC fight on and you had the boxing uh, match on. You get to watch both. That's great. And you saw the energy completely shift once the, 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 the final card came on for mm -hmm. boxing. Yeah. Once Errol Spence and Bud Crawford were fighting, the energy of the whole sports book was about the boxing match. Yeah. Every fight before that in boxing, nobody gave a fuck about. Mm. Like nobody gave a fuck. It was right. all about the UFC. I mean, one of the one of the things that Vala pointed this out that like UFC really exposed, especially when you're watching them side to side, is that when we were watching the Pitbull Cruz fight, which was on the undercard, right? Yeah. Shot to Pitbull Cruz, he's an excellent fighter. Um, that fight went 12 rounds. Three different UFC fights happened within that 12 round <laughs> fight, yeah. and each of them were like ended in devastating fashion yeah. and exciting. It was like, we just got three for the price of one. Yeah. Mm. But in terms of enjoyment, we got 20X enjoyment. Yeah. N nobody even was looking at the boxing or even cheering for the box, nothing. And it, it was just UFC is such, especially on the undercards, an unbelievably engaging sport. Mm -hmm. You can't look away. Yeah. Boxing is only engaging at the most elite. Yeah. It, it, even when you watch the younger guys that are just going to dominate and knock the other guy out, it's boring. It's boring. It's like it's like it's too one sided and it's whack. When you see that high level chess match, when you saw what happened with Spence and Crawford, that is elite, elite, elite entertainment. And that's what the UFC can do. The UFC can match up fighters that are on equal levels and create interesting fights. With boxing, since they're not all owned by the same promoter or contracted by the same promoter, they can't risk it. Mm -hmm. You've got a young, talented fighter. You can't risk them taking a loss. So you put them up against tomato cam for 20 fights. Yeah. And then at the end of their career, Bud is 35. Errol's 33. Mm -hmm. Like, this is old for boxing. Then they fight. If this was UFC, they would have fought three times by now before they're 30 years old. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you seeing them side by side really exposes the advantages mm -hmm. that the UFC has. Yeah. But I will say technical elite boxing is nothing's like so it. So entertaining. It's it is Bruh. so This was the first cool. boxing match that I watched that I was like, "Oh, this is like at the time more entertaining than any of the UFC fights." Yeah. I mean, it was and there's an also an interesting racial divide that happens cuz the second that boxing match was over, every black person left the sports book. <laughs> Every single black That's person hilarious. left the sports book. Yeah, it's interesting. And so black people and, and Latinos, but Latinos also like the UFC, but black people specifically are holding down boxing. Yeah. And that's why you see the biggest fights are when you have black Javante Davis, yeah. Yeah. Bud Crawford, Errol Spence, or Latino, like uh, who's the guy that Javante just beats? Ryan, uh, Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia. Yeah. Like they are really holding boxing together. But in terms of like, White people in America, they've really kind of shifted over to uh, UFC. UFC. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good point. It feels like that. Is it because they're not as On good? a casual level. Sorry. On a casual. The, the casual fan. Yeah. The white casual used to be a white casual boxing fan. Yeah. Now they're a white casual. Is it because they're not dominating boxing at all? Like they're- Who, they the whites? Yeah, they don't have- They got Tyson Fury- but I don't know any other white boxers. My boy, whites haven't dominated boxing in about 200 years. <laughs> yeah. But now they got an alternative. Now they got UFC yes, where it's yeah, like, oh, yeah, we're yeah. still dominating yeah. that. Seeing yourself be reflected yeah. is always yeah. better. Jeremy yeah. Lin for boxing. I mean, it's just like a cultural thing, boxing. too. Like, if you don't hang out with a lot of black people, you might not know that there's a boxing 
yeah. might happen. And I also the, no idea the that culture that, that you're like intertwined with, like if you're like a white dude, right, who is uh, into fitness and you're listening to the most popular podcast ever, Joe Rogan, you're hearing yeah. him talk about high level UFC fights and you're seeing it like permeate the culture that is outside of just, just boxing, but just comedy culture, podcasting culture. Like think about how much UFC talk there is yeah. Yeah. Ac across comedy podcasts. Yeah. There's not as much boxing and there's not as many boxers that are coming in and like blending and seeing that. Like yeah. we should have Bud Crawford. Bud should be here right now. So, and he, and he, they should see the value too. Like we should have Javante. Like their manager should be like, holy shit. Yeah. There's been so many UFC fighters that have been built up through podcasting and through these types of experience. Get them on Rogan. Get them on Flagrant. Get them on these podcasts. They can blow it up. That's true. Yeah. Why do you think Crawford was so dominant? I'm curious. Balance. His balance, his balance and timing. I think he's a harder puncher and he's a faster puncher than Spence. And Spence has this like really beautiful, relentless pressure that he works behind the jab. And he's got, he's, he's really interesting um, fighter. It's all working behind the jab and he does this great body work, but he couldn't get Crawford off balance and Crawford was faster to the punch. Mm. So like, when he would try to work him, he couldn't effectively get inside because Crawford was catching him as he was trying to come in. So it was costly to come in. And the hands, his hands, Errol Spence's hands weren't heavy enough to get Crawford to go, I got to cover up. Yeah, I think that's what made this. I think power made a difference. And nobody thought that that was going to be the case. Yeah. Crawford's coming up from 135. Spence should probably be at 154 by now. He's yeah. a big guy. But for whatever reason... But I heard uh, Crawford pretty much walks around at his fighting weight. And I think that's going to be, like, fighters are going to start saying, like, hey, if There's I- There's advantages. Yeah. yeah. That's what Floyd did. If you don't have to cut like that, like, you can, you're way stronger. And you so probably- It's debatable, though. Because you, earlier in your career, when you can lose the weight and the recover, you, you want to do that because you're just so much more powerful. You're adding 20 pounds of power on a punch if right. you can add that the next day. What you lose sometimes is your chin. Somebody was breaking this down on the podcast, but they were talking about like the, uh, there's like a, there's a liquid barrier between your brain and your oh, skull. Blood, blood, blood brain, blood brain barrier. Blood brain yeah. barrier. But I think there's also some like actual fluid. water and yeah. fluid that's in that. So the more dehydrated you are, the easier you are to oh, knock shit. out mm -hmm. because you just don't have as much of that hydration separating your skull from your brain. Wow. That's what the guy said. I don't know how much truth is here. But they do say that, that you can be a little bit, what's called chinny. Mm -hmm. If you're if you're really really dehydrated, but um, you have an advantage in power if you can come down. I, th I think they sh if they can from all combat sports they should remove like the cutting weight. I that would be great. I think they should. And the thing that, that you notice with Crawford is it wasn't one punch that was hurting him. It was the combination of punches. Right. It was like every time he could get up, Arrow could get up. Yeah. But he just was gonna keep getting battered. Yeah. Did you think there was anything wrong with Arrow? Because that's what I'm seeing some. You think that's just selling a rematch? Maybe. I just, uh, from what I saw, Crawford's, Errol's power wasn't significant enough to make Crawford question his decisions when he countered. Yeah. Even when he got touched, it would just like snap him and he was back. Like he never got wobbled. He never got disoriented at all. Yeah. Because if you're a counter puncher and you're not really worried about getting hurt, you can start taking some risks. Yeah. You can sit in the pocket. You can throw. Like there's that great moment where Crawford knocked Spence down with an uppercut on the inside. So yeah. Spence was trying to crowd him, mm -hmm. remember that? And then he throws it. You're only throwing, you're only throwing a front hand uppercut against a fighter that has been throwing looping left hands. Mm. If you're confident that if that left hand lands, you can take it. Yeah. This is a dangerous shot. You're throwing a looping left hand. So that means this hand is coming yeah. over the top. Yeah. Completely open. Uh, you only throw in that if you're like, I think I can handle that power. Take a couple of these. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what it looked like. I mean, he was, I mean, both of them to, to Spencer's credit, but like both of them were staying close. Yeah. They like were, the they, proximity was right there. It was beautiful, man. Like I mean, it was beautiful to see like two dogs, like both of them dogs. And he stuck it out more rounds than I thought. I'll be honest. Like after what, the fourth or fifth, you I was like, it. You could stop. And it. how many rounds did it go? Eight? I think eight. Yeah. It just kept coming forward, man. Like, that's I, so impressive. much respect. So I much I remember watching respect. the fifth round being like, what do you do? Like, yeah. you're getting, like, 
touched way more. You can't, like, even when you're connecting, it's not actually shaking them. Yeah. And, like, that must be such a debilitating position to be in mentally. Yeah. The doctor's coming out, fucking checking you, and you're like, yeah. <sighs> like, the mental roadblock to get through three more rounds of that is, is Oh, 100%. Imagine that the doctor comes in and says, "Are you okay?" In front of twenty thousand people. Oh yeah, but twenty thousand. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Like that. Oh yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> All the people at home too. Crazy. Right? But like, but both of them are going to make life changing money as they deserve. But is going to get the credit that he deserves for the type of boxer and the level of boxer he is. Like a lot of great things come from this. Yeah. If they fight again, cool. If not, there are tons of interesting fights for Errol. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like Arrow fighting Ryan Garcia, both coming off a loss. Yeah, both big names. Mm-hmm. Bud has nobody to fight now though. Javante. Now, I don't think Javante will come up. It's not going to come up. But that is what people would love to watch. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think, but I don't even think Javante should come up. I think Javante probably naturally is a 135er. Yeah. So he's already coming up to 140. But like, there are, there are people. There's the Charlo brother, who's I think at 154 and 160, but one, you know, maybe they could find a catch oh. weight. Like, there's some names out there. What is he, what does Crawford normally fight at? 147. Okay. What about uh, Devin Haney? Haney's 140. How about Shakur Stevenson? I've heard. Yeah, Shakur Stevenson, I think, is 140 as well. But I think they're like, I think I think that's his mentor. Like, uh, Shakur's okay, right, mentor right. is Bud. Like, I, yeah, I obviously don't know much, but Matt McCoy, our friend comedian who yeah. boxes, was like, yo, Shakur, that guy could be, yeah. he's got the potential to be the best ever. Yeah, there's a guy named uh, Boots Ennis who had a great outing. That he might, there's a lot of guys in that uh, that weight class that, that could be really fun, interesting fights, but. Yeah, cool. how much credit do you give Eminem for the win? All credit goes to Eminem. All credit. Dude, so. honestly, I thought he was gonna lose once I saw him walking out with Eminem. Right. I was like, oh, this is picking a bro. white guy for boxing. Is boring. Yeah, I that's know, a like, confident move, bro. It was brilliant though because Eminem is arguably the biggest superstar in the history of rap. In his day, yeah. In any day, like there isn't one since that's reached. Oh yeah, that. I'm, yeah. I'm saying his peak versus anybody else's peak was. Yeah, nice. that's what I'm saying. Like so, you have the biggest superstar in the history of rap walking you out, right? Now this doesn't feel like, oh, this is a, this is a specific cultural demographic of ah. boxing mm. and black people that know about this. It goes, all the white people that didn't know who Bud Crawford was or like made Fringe new, see Eminem walking out and they're like, oh, this must have been a big fight. I missed this fucking uh, fight. Yeah. If this is big enough for Eminem to be there, like, why Eminem's did I know never this? walked out anybody. Yeah. It's like Jay-Z walking out somebody. Yeah. yeah. You'd be like, what the oh, fuck? Oh, this is a big deal. Bro, if Jay-Z walked out Dustin Poirier or something, uh, what would black people think about that UFC oh, fight? Oh, that's, that's our guy. Yeah. <laughs> that's our guy. Right? Yeah. Like, it, and I was like, what a great strategic move right there. And you know, it wasn't even strategic. He just went on Twitter like a couple days before. He's like, who wants to walk me out? Yeah. And Eminem replied to yeah. it. That's, oh, that's exactly amazing. how it happened. And how cool. Yeah. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's awesome. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, anyway. Oh, that's awesome. Fire. Very cool fight. And also shout out to Dustin and, and Justin Gaethje and... Uh, yeah, I mean, what an the, amazing UFC card, man. Yeah. yeah. Oh, by the way, if you want tickets to UFC 292, Sterling and O'Malley, yes. or UFC.com. They're giving away two tickets and $2,000. Hit that up. Okay, if we'll not. put the thing on the screen so everybody yeah. knows. But make sure you go do that. Go up to Boston, see that fight. That fight will be absolutely sensational. You know those boys are going to go at it. Um, yeah, Dustin Poirier, Justin Gaethje. Justin Gaethje had just this unbelievable game plan. I mean, Dustin Poirier that I don't think gets enough credit for having one of the sneakiest defenses in fight sports. What does that he mean, this, sneaky defense? Like, the way that he defends, he has this, like, great shell, and he's really hard to hit clean. Okay. And, like, but, like, he'll... I don't know, he'll like, he'll move his hands, he'll use like his elbows. It's like, it's almost, he, he does like, he has like a, almost like a Philly shell elements of the Philly shell, but he'll also use it to block kicks and what everything. What is the Philly shell, sorry? Uh, it's a how Floyd fights, ah. where it's like one arm down, you use okay. your left shoulder to okay. block right hands that are coming in, and then also your, your uh, right to parry jabs. Okay. Anyway, so he uses all these things, but he's really hard to hit flush. Mm-hmm. Like if you notice, it's, it's rare that he gets hit flush. Mm-hmm. And even the kick that Justin landed, I've never seen Justin throw a head kick in the entire time that I've been watching him. Yeah, he's, he's there. Like he, he blocks it yeah. with the right hand, mm-hmm. but it comes and wraps around and hits him on the back of the head. So one great strategic move by Justin and his camp to go for a head kick when nobody would expect that he would even throw that. He usually chews up your legs. Mm-hmm. 
you know? And then uh, two, just, just like great fight, both of them, both of them, great attitude afterwards, like tons yeah. of admiration for one another. Yeah. Like, Bro, the backflip off the cage? That's crazy. crazy. Yeah. How do you do, like, that's insane. Yeah, yeah, it's just like, crazy. after just getting your leg kicked for two rounds, yeah. and then you do a backflip? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's wild. I mean, just awesome. Awesome UFC card. Shout out to Poetan. <laughs> Derek Lewis is hilarious. Bro, Derek Lewis my, is that was so all funny. time my hysterical. Favorite. That was my so absolute funny. Yeah, that's my guy now. Balls, Balls are hot, bro. Balls are hot. First round, flying knee and just pummel him. Who did he do that to? He fought some guy in COVID and just like walked him down 10 seconds and just like destroyed him. Do you remember this? I can't remember who it was, but it was the same exact thing. He just like destroyed him, and then same thing. Pants come off immediately. Yeah. My balls is hot. Yeah, it's dude. like the greatest. And then his, they asked him about it. He was like, "I just wanted to try some wild shit to start the fight." <laughs> yeah, said something yeah. like that. <laughs> no real strategy. Like, uh, wasn't it? Masvidal was like, "I saw there was a weakness with Askren that I could come at him with this, and he wouldn't be ready." Derek Lewis was like, "Man, I just wanted to try some shit. Yeah. I lost <laughs> a bunch of weight. I want to jump." Yeah. <laughs> Bro, he saw his abs yeah, go through. The abs. He got yeah. the abs going. I don't know. It was just so impressive. That was a great fight. I mean, awesome. Just like what we are so lucky we got to witness that boxing card and that UFC card at the same time. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah, we're so lucky. Yeah, that was fire. So lucky. And enjoy it, man. And then the Pereira block of its fight. How was that? I didn't get to see it. I thought it was, I thought Poetan showed unbelievable uh, defense on the wrestling. Mm -hmm. Like his wrestling and ground defense. I mean, if you remember uh, Blahovich when he fought Izzy, yeah. he didn't really try to attack Izzy on the ground. Yeah. He just held him on the ground, just on him. which is, I think, more difficult to counter. Mm -hmm. When you're trying to attack, you risk putting yourself out of position right. and someone can get out. And I think Jan was like, if this goes to the feet, I'm at a major disadvantage yeah. against Izzy because he's arguably yeah. the greatest striker right. in the history of MMA. So it's like, you you could, but I think with with uh, with Jan and Poetan, I think he wanted to try to see if he could get something going mm -hmm. on the ground. He's like, I think my best chances are I can choke him out. Uh. And Poetan was able to defend it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I would love to see Poetan go win the belt mm -hmm. and then Izzy and him fight for a third time for the belt at light heavyweight. Izzy becomes two division champ. And then if Izzy wants, challenge John Jones at heavyweight and then three division. That's a big Biggest come up. fight in MMA history. And we'll see what happens. That's crazy. Yeah. And he retires and becomes a rapper. Just yeah. rap. Yeah. After that, you rap. Yeah. Rap bro. forever, dude. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, so that's cool. Okay, what else we got, boys? All right, Twitter's rebranded to X. Do you want to talk about this? Yo, Twitter can do anything they want now that Threads is a dud. <laughs> Threads is over, bro. Stop why, posting. Why do you think it's over? It's over. Why do you think it's over? There's no culture on it. There's no culture on it. They didn't offer anything new that we could create culture around. So it's just another place to tweet and then potentially dilute your content, right? So you're like, am I gonna do a Twitter thread? Am I gonna do a tweet thread on threads and then have to repeat this whole shit on Twitter? Ah, it's too much. It's kind of like, there's, there could be some work that goes into a tweet, mm -hmm. you know? You're like oh, yeah. sitting there. I mean, if you're one of these people that do like long, like 20 tweet threads, like, That's yeah. a pain in the ass to repeat that over on yeah. threads when you've already done it on Twitter. Mm. It just didn't offer a new thing. It, it's like, Let's say you put out a new iPhone. There needs to be a, a something Sorry. seductive about the new iPhone. Yeah. I remember there was a time where it was FaceTime. It was a time where um, there was a three fucking cameras on the outside and they had the super zoom. You just need to give me something mm -hmm. that makes me feel like mine is antiquated and I need to jump on. All right. But it was an exact replica of a thing that we already have. Yeah. I agree. Thread sucks. But I will say this in terms of Twitter just doing whatever they want to. They're not competing with threads. They're competing with Instagram, they're competing with TikTok. You know, I think we saw the thing, he's trying to make this like a WeChat one-stop shop. So just because Threads bomb doesn't mean Twitter is gonna win. You yes. know what I mean? It's losing money, been losing money. Yes. So how, do you think Elon's gonna make it profitable? Is the X gonna help? I don't know, I don't know, this X thing is so peculiar. I don't it's even just, get it. My I, feeling is like when it's so bizarre and the move seems so out of left field, I feel like I don't know what he's up to. He's up to something. He you know must be I mean? up to something because like, it makes no sense. I can't tell if I'm gaslighting myself, but like, I don't think he's a stupid guy. So when he's doing something that makes no sense at all, I'm like, oh, there's a play here that's bigger than he's leaning X on. me. <laughs> like, I, like, I mean that in terms of, I think what he wants to do is, is create like a, a financial uh, backbone as part of it, yeah. right? So 
You can send each other money on it. You can maybe pay for things, et cetera. He wants to copy WeChat in China. Yeah. Oh, is that what WeChat? Yeah. That, that's yeah. what you say, yeah. WeChat, it's like a one-stop shop. You order food on there. Yeah. You do everything on this one app. It's ah. like an all-in-one app that like is the most popular app in China. It's yeah. literally everything. You can video call. You can do like voice text. You can do Snapchat, basically. You can do like moments, like Instagram stories. You can do mm. posting content. You can order stuff. You can pay with stuff. You can do tap to pay. Like, Everything is in this one app. Okay, so how does X work better with that system? I think it just becomes the app, and if it's the app, it's profitable. X marks the spot. X marks, yeah. Oh, how does the, ter- the term? Like, even sorry, the terminology, sorry, sorry. like, X me. Hey, can I? Can you buy some? I'm going to pay the whatever. Yeah, yeah, just X me. Yeah, I'll X it, and then I'll get you back. Yeah, yeah. that's better. Than, I'll Twitter it. I'll tweet. I'm, it. I think that's what he's up against, where he's like, okay, if this is going to become the one-stop shop for everything ever, and all commerce is done under this app. It has to be bigger than just. People are going to th- look at it and be like, oh, that's the Twitter thing. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like you I'm not yeah, I'm not gonna tweet money to you. Yeah. Does that like I feel like they're dealing with the they, Twitter had such good branding for what it was. And now he's trying to make it into something. What different. is X? X is a variable in my in math, right? So it's anything you want it to be. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's just Is he yeah. back in control? Because I remember a few I think he has back. a CEO, but the, he's also involved. Yeah, I know he's involved, but is he back the CEO of X now? So it's uh, like a different thing. Um, I'm assuming the CEO is still the same. So, okay. Yeah, I figured that's, that's my assume. assumption. Yeah. yeah. So that's what I'm assuming. Like, I don't, I, all these people that are like, oh, he's so stupid. Like, I don't know if he's stupid. I love people calling, <laughs> you, you can call him stupid for things outside of business. Like if you want to be like, oh, you you spend 80% of your time or 90% of your time at the office and you have all these children and you're not as involved in like their upbringing. Your names right. for your kids are stupid. Or exactly. Like there's no, things Those that, are just alien names. Yeah, so he, he wishes, he wishes. Yeah. So I think those are one of the things where like if you're coming, uh, you know, from someone who the way that you value life is the time that you spend with your family or with the things that you're really passionate about outside of building these businesses, you might be like, oh, it's stupid to dedicate time in that way. Yeah. But to say that he's stupid for business moves, you got to be really smart to do yeah. that. You got to have a lot of, you know what I mean? Like, like if Warren Buffett was like, yeah, I think this is stupid. I'd be like, all right, let me hear you out. <laughs> you know, yeah. but average Twitter user yeah. that works for DHL is going to say that <laughs> Elon is stupid for changing into X without even knowing why. Yeah, what the thinking That's behind what I it is. I'm like, maybe it might, it might not work out. It might, the whole thing might go belly up. He might lose forty four billion dollars. I don't know. That's to be seen. But yeah, I, there is like an intentional plan to try to level it up and take a huge like leap to try to change the, the whole company and everything. That yeah. is admirable and interesting. Will but, he get rid of the eight dollar paywall? Because it's way more people are going to use X if you can access everything you need to access without a paywall. That's just life. Is the paywall just for the blue checks or do they change it? Paywall is just for blue checks, but I assume it gives you, you can delete tweets within X amount of time. You can, you can do all these little things with the blue check that you can't do without. Oh, I see. Yeah, I think the refresh rate, you can only look at a certain number of tweets without the blue check. And then with it, you, you can, not unlimited, but it's a way higher number. So hmm. like there's all these little limitations they're putting on people who aren't paying eight bucks a month as opposed to people who are paying eight bucks a month. That's interesting. Now, if you want this to be an all-in-one app, I'm not paying eight bucks a month to Venmo you. Mm-hmm. I'm not paying eight bucks exactly. a month to Exactly, he'll cash get it in the transaction. Fee. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be some other He'll thing. get his money in, in the transaction. Like if you're if you're buying food on it, you're doing all those things, there's gonna be a little piece that comes over to them. And yeah. now they have more ways to profit. I think the issue with Twitter right now is that you really can't monetize it outside of ads and the subscription yeah. thing. So the more things that come up that are gonna be usable that they can monetize, the less that I think they'll care about yeah, the Yeah, so we're thinking they throw out this $8. No, I don't think they throw it out. I think or they still offer it, it as a feature. Yeah, it's like if you have the subscription, then we'll We'll charge you less transaction fees or no transaction fees. Exactly. Like, Maybe. Like like when a Amazon YouTube, uh, yeah, Amazon Prime YouTube or like premium a YouTube no premium. Ads. Like, yeah. yeah. So 100%. Yeah. Like He's saying that line. users are up. I personally have been using the app more since all of this. Like, I'll go through like his tweets and stuff. Interesting. And I can't tell if it's like anecdotal, like it's just like happening coincidentally or what. But he's saying that users are up in terms of like minutes. Twitter's per great. Like, it's not, it's not bad. And also if your Twitter sucks... You choose to follow people. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. so that's kind of on you as well. Um, well, now I think they're making it a little bit more algorithmic. They should make it. They're making it more like for you. Like, here's content that you're going to like, stuff like that. They should. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. I, let's see what happens. If he turns into something that's bigger than just Twitter, I think that 
that'd be really impressive. Yeah. If you want to buy stock, now's the time. <laughs> but can't ima- I can't imagine it's super high. Yeah. yeah His public very, sentiment is not sure what he's doing. Very interesting. All right, guys, we're going to take a break for a second because I know your balls are hot. Like Derek Lewis, you're trying to cool down your balls, but you still want to stay comfy. You can't go no underwear. Right? Because then you're flopping all over That's the place. Savage. That's savage it's savage. Maybe you have some varicosity in your left testicle, so a lot of veins are hanging there. It's creating some pressure. It's very uncomfortable for you while you're walking down these hot streets in this beautiful summer that you're indulging in right now. So what you need is a short that's going to be breathable, but at the same time have some support. And that's what Bird Dogs is all about. Bird Dogs. Bird Dogs. Bird Dogs. Okay? Bird Dogs. Maybe the best, most comfortable short with the built-in lining cradle that nut and dick. You need nut and dick cradle when you're walking down the street. You can't be like one of these fucking Frenchmen that wears a small pair of shorts. They got their saggy testicles and their uncut cocks just dripping out both ends. They take a squat. They take a squat to take their you know bicycle lock off of their bike, and then what happens? The twig and the berries are out, children are watching, it's disgusting, they should be arrested. (laughs) Bird dogs would never let that happen to you. You could take your bike lock off, your balls and dick are not gonna fall out in any way. Look at these shorts, look at that lining. Mm, Just amazing, right here, right there. Look at that lining, boom. All Ukrainian soldiers are wearing these, apparently. I don't know if that's a fact, but <laughs> that has been something that I've been told. The point is, uh, if you go to birddogs.com slash flagrant and you enter the promo code flagrant, for a, you're going to get a free tumbler. Do you know what a tumbler is? No, neither did I. This is a tumbler, okay? You're going to get a free one of these. Mm-hmm. And with, good shorts. With your order, and that is hopefully that you're ordering these shorts because they're absolutely amazing. With your order, that's birddogs.com slash flagrant with the promo code flagrant for that free tumbler with your order. Now let's get back to the show. Can can you guys break down this um, this Mbappe situation? Yep. So basically, uh, Al-Hilal is the Saudi team and effectively- Food cart. <laughs> basically, <yeah. laughs> I, I think that's the name of the team, Al Halal, but uh, or Halil, and basically they are what people call sports washing in Saudi Arabia, where they're buying up all of these major players. They bought Cristiano Ronaldo, so now they offer Mbappe a billion dollars. What is sports washing? So it's a term like, that was popularized around the uh, Olympics, okay. where these like big oil states were essentially like buy up. I think it was like weightlifters mm-hmm. from like Georgia, yeah, and be like, "Yo, you're gonna." get citizenship here and you're going to weight lift for Qatar. Yeah. And then Qatar gets to win a gold medal. And I think also maybe the idea, because I heard it once and I forgot details, but I think also it changes the perception of, yeah. hey, look at all these human rights atrocities too. Oh, this is the place where all the great yeah. pro players. You host the World Cup Yeah, it just puts you on yeah. the map, right? Like people really care about sports, especially around the Olympics. So like even just seeing the flag go up, you start even asking questions like, what's Qatar? Like what is that? Yeah. Oh, what's yeah. going on? With the purpose of changing the public perception from, yeah. you know, either nothing or an evil oil state or whatever people's preconceived notions. Yeah, okay. So now they offer a billion dollars to get Mbappe for one year. Is it a billion? Is when it, you add all the things, so together. It's a, there's a two hundred fifty goes to his two hundred fifty goes to PSG. He basically walks away with like seven hundred fifty. Yeah, yeah, you you pay the team a little bit of money to like, hey, we're taking him from the team. You, has the rights, and then they'll sell your rights, and then and then you pay the guy a salary. So he gets seven hundred seventy-five bill, million, million, and then the team gets two fifty or something like that. Yeah. And he's basically in like the prime of his career. He's like in his mid twenties. He's like already won a World Cup. He's one of the most prominent young soccer players. Like Potential goat. Yeah, like taking over. Like now, Messi and Ronaldo are kind of fading out of like the uh, national stage. He and like Holland are taking in. And so it's going to be him and Holland for yeah. the next ten years. Yeah, basically is what it looks like. And so the question is, does he leave one of the elite leagues in Europe, which historically have always dominated? The French league is like less dominant. People will argue than like the English leagues or the Spanish leagues or even the Italian leagues. So does he walk away from that? Does he not go to Madrid, not go to some other like prominent team and like really earn his stripes and like cement his legacy as one of the greatest players ever? Or take $750 million, play one year in Saudi Arabia against ding, ding. whomever is in the league at that time. Play, yeah. with, play with Ronaldo for a year. Get your Question. Money, bro. Get your money. Get your money, bro. Hold on. We, uh, hold on one second. Just real quick. PSG is the team he's currently on. Mm-hmm. Haven't they been demoted Mm-mm. or something? Are they no longer in the... No, they're still in the League One. They well, Are they still in the... What is it called? 
Champions League? Champions no, League. Is, is it Champions Relegated? League? Like, that's like the the tournament amongst all yeah. the teams. Are they still in the Champions League? So you qualify for the Champions League each year. I don't know if they qualified last year. I'd have to check. And does that, okay, so that wouldn't affect this season. I'm trying to wonder, like, if the team that he was going to be on isn't even qualified for the Champions League, mm-hmm. he's kind of playing for... They lost Messi, but they still have Hakimi. I'm assuming they have other good stars. I know they got they had those three. Mm-hmm. Hakimi's fucking nice. Yeah. Neymar. 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 Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah but, and then there was this rumor that came out that, like, the deal was already done with Real Madrid with Mbappe. Yeah. So clearly he wants out of PSG. Oh, this is what guys, it seems like. Just this applies they washed out of the champions league last season and then again this season as of uh, March. so they're not in it next so they're not in it and that's the that's only a way huge factor that's for the me. only way you can say you're the king if, of europe that's if i'm if i'm a, if i'm him i'm going i don't want to play in a subpar league and not get those champions league games because that's less goals that i'm going to be able to score that's less international spotlight like that's less competition at the highest level i gotta go to a, some other team that is going to play mm-hmm. I mean, Real Madrid makes perfect sense. That's what I'm saying. Going to like a Madrid, playing in Spain, playing. What would in, that offer look like? I have no idea. I'm actually curious. I'm, I can look it up. Definitely not. No. Yeah, because yeah, comparing those offers would be helpful. So that's yeah, the other tricky right. thing, right? Is that it's one year of your life. That's it. You know how often a player is injured and misses a season? You could treat this like an injury season. Yeah. Like you play one year there, you get $775 million. Now, the thing that America did with Messi is they found a way to make him the equivalent amount of money yeah. as the Saudi league offered through equity, uh, opportunities to buy a team later yeah. and getting a piece of all the different uh, merch, merch and, shoes, and ev- jerseys like, and yeah. They're like, we're going to give you a piece of everything. And it looks so far like that shit is going to work out. Yeah. Okay. Right? Yeah. So the question is, can... Is it even worth it to Spain to offer a crazy deal like that for uh, Mbappe? It might be worth it for the league. Yeah. The league might come together and be like, let's figure this out. Which country has the most beautiful trans women? Because I think that's going <laughs> to factor into Brazil, his decision. Right? I think he should play for a Brazilian. Colombia or something? Colombian. Yeah. 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 The, fact, the fact that none of us said Thailand is crazy. Like Thailand really fell off. Like they started yeah. that shit. Yeah, yeah. It's true. And then they just got left. They've been resting on their laurel, dude. They really have been resting, bro. <laughs> resting on they their thought laurel. that they didn't have to do shit. They need a, nah. better, they need a better rebrand because they call them lady boys. Hey, oh, get yeah. boy out of here. What's yeah, a boy? Yeah. Lady. Y'all not boys. That's a lady. That's yeah, a lady. Girl. That's a lady, bro. Come yeah, on now. Yeah. yeah, apparently Madrid was speculating to offer two hundred million for like a six-year deal. Fuck, Get fuck. the fuck out of my face. So that's bro. my point. You can't compare it to the Saudi deal because that's not even. That's never happened. At like a billion dollars for years. So like, even as just a competitor, I just realized this. How do you brought this up? How does Ronaldo identify himself as still being elite? He got like four hundred million for two years. Hey, bro, I got seven hundred million for one year. I got you. Hmm. You're not elite anymore. I'm the guy. Hmm. Take if you that. don't take this but off the pod, you said he shouldn't do this. Yeah, I don't think he should do this. Why? Well, one, I don't even think it's a real offer. Like, I feel like they are throwing money around to get the attention of all the other players in Europe. Because you could, with that money, with a billion dollars, if you think they, the most, I don't even know what the max is, but like, I think Grealish got like 300 million, like something crazy. And that was like the most ever. To do what? To go to Man City. I actually don't know what his deal was, but like the precedent for these deals, this is like three times like what the biggest deal before was. So I'm looking at this, like they're throwing around money. They could make a top five team with just a billion dollars. You know what I mean? Like they can make a top, not just one player. You need more than one player to make a team. You could get the you know starters from Man City, from Man United, from all these other teams, pull them in and create an actual good team to compete on a national What stage. about that makes this unreal? Not real. Because I'm assuming that they're just throwing this money around to get people's attention. This is the bat signal. Yeah. You it's it's the uh what is it? The way uh what's it called? When our boy PBD said I'm gonna pay you hundred million to Tucker. Yeah. Whether or not Tucker accepts that Everybody looks at PBD and goes, damn, my man yeah. got $100 million yeah, to throw I, out. I, they yeah. got something serious going uh, on with their that. value tainment. But if Tucker signed a $100 million contract, he still gets the $100 million. That's what I'm saying. But th- they're thinking if he signs it, we get the best player in soccer. Yeah. If he doesn't, we get the attention. You got Draymond but Green going. It is going, a real deal, though. But yeah, none of that means he shouldn't take the deal. Th- they, right. they believe that he won't. Yeah. But even if he does, they get the best. Yeah. And if he doesn't, the marketing that they're going to get. Draymond Green is out here going, yo, do they have basketball teams? Son, LeBron said it. Giannis said it. Exa- so this is like, it's great PR. 
Now, here's the thing. I think if he doesn't take a deal like this, it's not the best PR move because it makes it look so awful to live in Saudi Arabia oh, yeah. for one year oh, that you'd God. rather not make $775 million. That's funny. Right? Like, yeah. in a way, it's just like, I would rather lose half, a, if Mbappe goes, I would rather lose half a billion dollars than live, live a year in Saudi Arabia. Yeah. The reason I don't think, I think that they didn't think he was going to take it first off because there's already like, this is from PSG reportedly offered him like a billion dollar contract for like a lifetime deal. So like in my mind, he's going to make a billion dollars regardless. You know what I mean? Like whether it's through contracts with his clothing, with his merchandise, with whatever team he plays on, he's only like 20 something. You know what's the difference between $2 billion and $1 billion? <laughs> it's a billion dollars. Yeah, but like, I'm like a billion dollars plus legacy. You know what I mean? Like he's going to become one of the greatest players of all time. One year. So this doesn't That's the thing. That legacy That's for the one thing. year. It's one year. 100%. You know Jordan sat out a year with a broken foot, right? That's what I'm saying. It's an injury. You gotta look yeah. at like an injury. And I'm like, I think that affects his, his legacy. No, it doesn't. No. Why not? Because Michael Jordan? Still think Michael you don't, you don't think he would have scored more points if he played another year? But does it affect his legacy. It doesn't yeah. affect his statistics. He's We're so young. Legacy. He's got so many oh, scored more points. So you oh, think oh, Michael oh, Jordan is the great, second greatest player of all time? No, he's even if he's the greatest, he would have been more great no. if he played another year. No, but he's the greatest. But he would have been more great. But you're the greatest. So Did you so even know he sat out of here? Did you have any no, idea he sat no out of here? Exactly, because it doesn't affect his legacy. We won't know about it later on, is what everybody's saying. Is At mm -hmm. the end of the day, as long as he continues to have success like he has had, right. then, and also it's like, the things that are interesting about Mbappe is he's already won the World Cup. Right. Yeah, and right? he scored three goals in the finals loss. Yeah. I mean, like, you could argue that the legacy is is there. I mean. It's well. not yet. He's got a lot of work to do. But what I'm saying is he gets to go, I've already won the World Cup. Mm -hmm. that, that is checked off. I never have to do that again. We're good to go. If I win another one, it's I like, mean, oh, me. my God. And if we win three, which is potentially possible. He could play 12 more years. He's 25 right now. Something like that, yeah. Uh, 37 might be tricky. Oh, no. Maybe also, that's the advancements in like anti-aging shit, I don't think, I think all athletes are going to start playing longer. Fair enough. But it is very plausible he plays at least two more World Cups mm -hmm. at an elite level. Yeah. yeah. So he has the opportunity to maybe win another one there if the team is, the French team is mm -hmm. good enough and it looks like it is pretty good. Like 20, 24. He is 24. Yeah. So bare minimum, he's going to play. So it'll be 35, 36 when the next World, the mm -hmm. third World Cup happens. Yeah. Very reasonable. I don't know. I, I understand you want to go after it, and, and it depends where Holland's going to be and what he's going to be doing, and you won't be in the conversation. I mean, like, you know, Ronaldo went out there, and we're, he's just a ghost. Like, we don't even know he's alive. Like, yeah. I, he's playing in a half-full stadium, didn't even, like, win the championship. Yeah, and, but that he, doesn't matter. He, he went there to retire. Right. Yeah. He's just going to take hey, one year. Let me get my money. Because you're going to remember right he's back. back next year. And if a career ending injury does happen, he's got $775 million. Yeah. But if good. your goal is to be the greatest. Again, this is unaffected. One year but doesn't. You said if he gets a career ending injury. Like, it, that could happen in PSG, too. Yeah, exactly. The chances he's aren't not, increased. But he's not doing it through something that seems like negligent to his career. You know what I mean? Like, well, you could also make the argument if he wanted to be the greatest, he wouldn't have signed a PSG. Yeah, but he started with them. Like he's been with them and just re-upped the contract. I and think so now it, he's stopping the contract. Now they're not performing. Are you a fan of PSG? Yeah, he is. I, mean, I, like, that, I like that. I'm not like a diehard fan though. Yeah, what are you talking some about? You have the thing jersey. That's making you like, ignore. Yeah, but I'm, I'm, he likes France. I like France. I like the French. Okay, that's oh, all. There it is. Yeah. That's why he wants him to stay here. Yeah. I get it. And I would too. There's also something. He's French in France. It's kind of like be the king of your. Country and oh no, get the fuck out! Get the fuck out of France! Get the fuck out of France! I'm helping I a little. I think he should have left PSG a long time ago. Yo, yeah, take the you money. go to the English Premier League or you go to La Liga in Spain, and that's it. And be dominant, and yeah. then be the greatest ever, and then make a billion dollars yeah. in ten other ways. I mean, if you really want to dance, you go right up there where Holland is, and you join the fucking com competitive, uh, whatever the, their biggest fucking competitor is. Yeah. Where's Holland on Man City? Man City. So yeah. you join fucking Manchester United, and you just go to war with that motherfucker. Yeah. I mean, that would be. Nah. Crazy. Go get your money, bro. Oh, speaking yeah, of Manchester, yeah. uh, KSI is going to be fighting Tommy Fury. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's going to be fighting Tommy Fury on Saturday, October 14th. Sunday, October 15th, we will also be in Manchester doing shows oh, shit. for the Life Tour. Fire. So we might have to pull up the 14th 
to that show. We are going to stay in Scotland for another day, but maybe we just do the day in Scotland and then pull up that night. Oh, <laughs> I, th I thought you was about to announce you're going to be on the undercar. I saw the fuck. I saw them flagrant Bruh. gloves outside. I'm no, like, you might have to pee on the undercar. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll commentate it though. Oh hell yeah, I would definitely commentate. Oh, this. you got to do that. Would you walk him out? Who? <laughs> Which one? KSI. KSI. Yeah, I'll walk Singing Eminem. I'll walk it. Walk and you have to sing Eminem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that would be fire. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude, we got to do that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be ill. Nah, that's going to be, be so ill. Yeah, that'll be fun. So, And then I think uh, Logan is fighting on the card as well. Yeah. But I don't yeah. know if they've announced who Logan is fighting. No, I don't think so. But really interesting thing, like a brave thing for KSI to do, fighting someone who's dedicated their, their life to actually boxing is a different game. Yeah. And I think Jake kind of found that out when yeah. he went in there with him, that there are, there are levels to it. Mm. You know, uh, Jake had been incredibly dominant when he was fighting against the MMA guys, but a boxer who's dedicated himself to that thing is different. And I'm curious to see. If KSI pulls it off, I mean, he has all the bragging rights in the world against Jake. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, and, and if he doesn't pull it off, him and Jake can fight. Yeah. Anyway. That's yeah. kind of a win win. Yeah. yeah. But brave thing to do. He yeah. just can't get fucked up. Because at least he, Jake like put up a little bit of a oh, fight. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah so. he was in it. Yeah, he went to decision, right, Jake? I think he dropped Tommy, too. He did? Yeah, Jake dropped Tommy. Did he drop? I thought he like tripped or like kind of like yeah, pushed him it down. it wasn't like a... No, I think he was a, re it was a counted knockdown. It was? Yeah. Come on. I'm being serious. So your friends with him. Give credit where credit's <laughs> due. Nah, you so know that, what I mean? It wasn't a real doctor. Nah, I, I think it I don't was. Remember. Look it up. Look it up. So it and it doesn't matter. And it's not like a knockdown flat in his face, but tapped his jaw and sat him down. You see the slip. I mean, yeah, that's what that, that's what happens when yeah, you punch got someone, punched you in the slip. face. Clean. He direct jab while he's leaning into it. And then he yeah. punched him right off his feet. Yeah, his he, he, foot he went the direction no, his face actually, was supposed to go in. That's actually, a, look, a pure knockdown. The foot lands first, and then he lifts his foot off of the ground. he gets knocked oh, back. I think he's stepping on his foot. No. Buddy, what are you saying, dude? Uh, look, nah. look at him. Nah, 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 you're the guy who doesn't hate the You're hating on this. You're the guy who doesn't hate He wants to plant the jab. He steps on his foot. And he said... Look he's where his right he's foot is. He's not on his foot. He yeah, he's not, not on his foot. foot Jake's foot's not even also, in How would his foot off, slip if he's off, on his foot? No. He's, he's, he's like. He just hold on. His foot is stop, on the bro. canvas. Hey, right? Come on, bro. And then now look, his foot is perfectly on the canvas, and then he both of those feet slip because he momentarily concussed him with a very strong jab. That's a fact of life. <laughs> momentarily concussed. No, that's a knockdown, bro. That's, that's a, a knockdown. That's a pure, oh, yeah. legit a knockdown. knockdown. Right. Absolutely a knockdown. I mean, you would be out flatlined if that happened. Like, <laughs> you would be dead ass. You might be dead. You so might I'm be dying, a dead man. man. We would them. get a casket I and we would fucking them. roll you into it if they got hit by so that. If Jake, if Jake comes back on here, we can just go just for free. Fuck it. <laughs> go okay. for Son, free. This is crazy. For free. You was barring him? This is crazy. Easily. Bro. Easily. This is crazy. Would you play him in tennis? I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know, nah. I don't know about that. Tennis. What happened in tennis? Well, nothing. Yeah, nothing. You heard about the match? Nothing. But all right. Well, Jake will come back. I'm sure he was sparring. Let's go. Done. We'll make it happen. Let's go. It's the dumbest thing that you've ever decided. <laughs> come on, son. I mean, you don't think I'm ready for that game, right? Thing, Why do you want this? <laughs> Why? I don't think you're me. ready. No, I don't think they you're ready. can't beat me. Guys. All right. Anyway. <laughs> if anyway, LeBron got fun. offered $500 million, do you think he should go take he it? He said he China? would, and yes, yes he should. Yes. LeBron at 23? Yes. 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 I don't get what you're like. For one like, year, Mark, like one year. There's something more important than money, bro. He's going to be good forever. He's already got enough money. There's one year. But it's what if the next year. year they go, hey, another billion, play another year? That's two years, two Hey, billion. I want you to find the guy who's told me, who's told you I have enough money. Yeah, yeah that's my point. Would you go do comedy in Saudi Arabia for one year for $775 million? That's my, that's my point. Is I'm like, if the goal is to be the greatest, so no. no. Answer the question. So no? Well, art's different. Okay. <laughs> See, that, exactly. exactly. <laughs> it's not even a question. I it's know. one year of your life for $775 million. That thing doesn't exist. It's all upside. It's like crypto. Like, yeah. it, it, this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to make all this money that you shouldn't be able to make, and they're throwing it at his ass. Yeah, he's he's crazy to not accept it. Even though I understand from a competitive stance, it doesn't make sense. But if the if the competing agreement, if the competing option is what? What'd you say it was? Two hundred million yeah, or I a guess. lifetime deal for a billion. 
Yeah. But it, it, that's how many years? 12 or whatever. Yeah, 10, 10 12 years. 12. Years, so like you're making either $100 million a year or $775 million a year. That lifetime agreement is available to you the second you come back. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. you gotta, yeah, you gotta, you, you gotta. Why not just do it at the end of your career? You can just play 10 years not getting and it's not worth it. You're getting 770 million now. <laughs> this is great. But he can make the I got money a winning after. lotto ticket. Why don't I wait to cash it in? I got some air. Messi got a billion in Miami or whatever. Also, Saudi Arabia not paying those big prices anymore. Like, just like Spotify not spending fucking crazy money on podcasts. Yes. Like, yeah. I mean, Joe is going to get it, mm -hmm. but I don't think anybody else is getting that money anymore. But Messi's the greatest and he got the bill. Let me just do that. Because you can still do that. Because America is Spotify five years ago. Mm -hmm. We are spending, we're overspending on MLS. Right. Once MLS gets popping to the point where they don't need to do it, they ain't going to keep spending the money. They're like, we pop it. Mm -hmm. So it's Tiger Woods over here, bro. He missed out on that. I just yeah. want to see black man be great, bro. I don't know. I just want to see He's him. He's going to hold the black man down. That's what you want. That's exactly what you want. That's what it is, bro. Wow. This is the, this is, I mean, this is, might be the worst stance I've ever seen you take. <laughs> That, he's a purist. You're a soccer purist. I just want him to be great, bro. He's just, he's just you just quit, nah, man. You be an emotional, bro. You just quit. You be an emotional. He had one. Oh, it's definitely emotional. Stuff. Wait, what? <laughs> What's consent? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, that was, that was a good one. That was an all time good one. Uh, um, <laughs> <all -time. laughs> that was an all time, dude. Okay, can we be a little gossipy? Can we, like, gossip real quick? Oh, uh, are you going to bring up this one? Come uh, on. Mark has been excited to talk about this. Yes, yeah, dude. Yeah. That's all I have to bring This might up. be the most important thing that's ever happened in history. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. let's, just, just let's just chatty, gossip. Patty motherfuckers let's just right gossip real quick. Um, this is beyond gossip. This cuts to the core of what it means to be a man. Okay, this is, this, like, this transcends everything. This is the Odyssey. Okay, we're about to down. We're about to watch yeah. the Odyssey is in real time. Ariana Grande a siren, dude? Bro, <laughs> literally. She might be a siren, huh? All right, if anyone doesn't know, okay, basically. Bust it open. Ariana Grande was married to a guy, obviously a famous pop star. She is co-starring on Wicked, okay? Her co-star in Wicked is this guy, Ethan Slater, okay? Mm -hmm. He formerly was SpongeBob on Broadway. Okay, so he's popping in the Broadway oh, scene. That's why you love him. And pro, uh, you saw him hate on that. I'm My saying what he did. Work real hard to get to. He's one of the greatest. On he's one of the greatest Broadway. actors in the world. And Ariana was married to a realtor. Yeah, exactly. What's wrong with that? No, you said a. Wait, pop well, star. Why are you hating? Yeah, he was describing. He was not. Why are you he hating? Was a pop star. He described weird. He was describing Ariana as international pop star. International but it did sound star. like you were saying she yeah. was married to an international. No, pop she's star. an international pop yes. star married to a guy. Uh, okay. Just a random Same. guy, regular guy. And makes then money, I'm there's sure. this guy, Ethan Slater. Yes, he's one nice of the most guy. prominent Broadway stars in the world. Okay, formerly starred as SpongeBob on Broadway. Yo, is he? That's wild. That's wild. Yo, that's wild. That's always been his dream. Yo, he's a hater. Why is that hate? I didn't know he's such a hater. Or can't a mad. man be spongebob on Broadway, bro? <laughs> I'm saying. insane that you Arna would... Grande, one of the biggest pop stars in the world. She's co-starring with this guy, yeah. all right? And then basically, the two of them cheat on their... Uh, respective... Respective uh, Husbands partners. and wives. Allegedly. And then, allegedly. I mean, yeah, I don't know them. Al just found out about this story from you 30 minutes ago. <laughs> talking about allegedly. Yeah. Yo. <laughs> Dressed like Patrick Starr. I mean, he's vouching for this guy. I bro. believe. I believe. He's on SpongeBob's all team. I believe all women. She says she's separated. Now they're both divorcing their people. They're dating. This guy, Ethan Slater, just recently had a baby with his wife. That's where it's fucked. And dude. his a wife. A year and a half ago. What do you? Does the baby go away, dude? <laughs> so that for Alex is a fucking stupid thing you know to say. If Alex was a boy, this is your Mbappe argument. This is your Mbappe argument. Son, that's Why crazy. Why are you trying to tear people down, bro? Like, I'm not tearing anyone down. I'm saying it's an it's an interesting. Story. I didn't say, you I didn't, didn't have to bring up SpongeBob. I know. Son. You <laughs> no, can bring up his most recent accomplishments like being in Wicked. <laughs> He's SpongeBob, bro. What's wrong with that? <laughs> Yo, son. <laughs> Yo, you're devious, bro. That's one of the greatest roles in, in Broadway, bro. It's one of the oh biggest cartoons God, ever. Dude. I love SpongeBob. I watched all the seasons. You didn't even watch it. That's I why didn't I, watch it. I will be honest, but I'm at least giving some respect to a yeah. man that played a sponge at the bottom out. of the ocean <laughs> or wherever it is. I that, agree. With, with square pants. Yeah, with, with square pants. Like my man dedicated his it's, life to musical theater. I agree. It's to an be awesome a cleaning role. apparatus <laughs> that also has a personality, and you shit. It's all a huge over show. Him. It's one of the biggest shows on Broadway. Kids love it. I would have gone to see it if I was a little younger. All I'm saying is, you don't have to throw salt. Like now, he's in a real. You know, musical. He's a, a, a movie. Wicked. It's a movie. Yeah, it's a movie. A musical movie. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. So it's awesome. Yeah. But now he left his uh, high school sweetheart who just had a baby with uh, for Ariana Grande. Mm -hmm. Now, it's a fascinating some say, tale. Some say that Ariana Grande uh, 
uh, has made a habit of this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She has a song, Break Up With Your Boyfriend Because I'm Bored. That's a song that break she just got out with there your for years. Oh, yeah, Break Up With Your Girlfriend Because yeah, yeah. I'm Bored. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Uh, that's a banger. He just sang the shit out there. Yeah, that's Thank it. You. That shit Thanks goes assist, hard, too. Doug. I'm going to sing that the next song. Yeah. Next episode, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sam playing yeah. that. But Al still searches for his song. <laughs> <laughs> you were at a concert last night, bro. How do you not know? Wow. So yeah. she has a history of this. Yeah. I love gossip. Oh, yeah. this is the guy? I wish I could be on The View. Yeah. Are we gossiping? Yeah, this is the guy she left her spouse for. Oh, wow. Stay up, Kings. I'm saying anything's possible. <laughs> Anything is possible. Why are you so, hating why so are you hard, hating? You why are you that? acting like it's normal for a person that does theater hey, their whole hey, life? He does yeah, musical yeah, theater. Yeah, he does hey, musical yeah, theater his whole hey, life. Chill and chill all of a sudden, hey, the biggest pop star in the world is like, yo, smash. Oh, That's completely normal. Yo, you know what this emotion is? Know, it's know, jealousy I know, on I know, everyone. Know. Why does he get to do it? Because <laughs> yeah, yeah. he's, he's a That's musical not, theater guy, which you wanted to be. That's Mark's whole life. He didn't even play sports. Go back to Mark being homeschooled and dressing up with suspenders and a fucking... He's not even good at song. <laughs> Why does he get to take that on? And he got a Brock, too. Damn. What'd he, you? He's a little Brock. Oh, bro. So, yeah, here's the thing. You're a hater, but Ariana. <laughs> You're a hater, bro. But here's the thing. But Can this? you blame Ariana? She's been famous since she's a child. Anything she wants, she just asks for and then gets. Yeah. So I don't even know if she thinks that she's doing anything wrong. Like, I want that man. I don't care what anybody needs to do to get it for me, but that's what I want. Mm -hmm. So, I, hey, I want a reservation at a restaurant. Well, it's, uh, it's all reserved. Okay, well, do what you have to do. Yeah, but she's also married, though. Do you know that this level of, like, narcissism that it takes to be <laughs> where they are, it doesn't matter, right? Yeah, like, that's a good point. it's just whatever I need. That's a good point. You're fun. You're fun for as long as you feed my narcissism. Yeah. And then once you stop feeding it, well, we need somebody else to feed it. Yeah. And nothing feeds narcissism like a man that's taken. Oh, yeah. I'm oh, so great yeah, yeah, yeah. that that taken man with a newborn baby will leave his wife and child for this Pussy. Yeah, yeah. Whoo! Yeah. That's a wicked pussy right that there. That is the wicked witch <laughs> of the West right there. Yeah. When you think about it, that's meta. Meta? Yeah. No. That's meta, I think. No, no. Uh, uh, what is that acting where you do it all method. the time? Method. 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 <laughs> method. That's yeah. method. Yeah. You dude. hear what the ex-wife said? What? She said, this is like the thing that sort of my wife is Twitter on fire. All of this. She said, uh, she's not a girl's girl. She said, Arne Grande is not a girl's girl. My family's just collateral. And that's sort of like what pushed yeah. this big on Twitter right now. So Ariana Grande is pretty. But I hate that. Me. Don't go at Ariana. Like, hold your man yeah. accountable. Ariana I hate didn't really, that. Yeah. Nah, but here's, here's where I will... This kid, for this kid, and this is kind of to Mark's whoa, 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 point. Whoa, what do you mean this kid? He's young. This is a nice guy. You no, know, but this is to Mark's point. This is a kid that grew up in musical theater. He's doing Broadway plays. This is not somebody girls are going crazy over. Suddenly, one of the biggest pop stars on earth is into you. It's just like, well, this is wild. This is not something I ever saw coming. I could see you being wooed <laughs> by that. <laughs> what? Wait, wait, wait. What? <laughs> <laughs> Don't agree with me now. Don't agree with me now. He's, this guy is. This a, is what he was trying to get a, at. But he's also he was just coming from such a jealous place. Yeah. Yeah. You were coming. From I was not jealous. Uh, we can't you brought up SpongeBob for no reason. Man. Nobody asked what his fucking discography was. We, we couldn't was. hear past what he's famous for, bro. That's what his biggest role was. Nobody a ever role. seen. Yo, this, this kid is your before. Jake Paul. <laughs> just hating on this man for no reason. Uh, bro, he looks him. like Jews Clues. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do a sing off with this guy. I'm gonna do a sing off. Nah, you oh my lose. god, he's he's in New York. Nah, we're, he we're doing a sing off. I get, he look like a singer. We're doing bro. the sing off, and then you're doing the, the sparring with Jake. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, man. I mean, he this foul as fuck. What he nah, did? Nah, it's on him, bro. You can't. If, it yeah, it's on him. It's it's not. Nah, but she throwing around a list celebrity pussy. Son, you can't, can't be just throwing her a list celebrity. They pussy. all throw it, bro. No, they all throw it. Do they? That's all they do. <laughs> <laughs> they all throw oh, yeah, it. These A-list celebrities, they just need to get filled up. That's what they want. You just got to be like, yo, back off, bitch. 
Nah, yeah. not when you're SpongeBob. No, nah, when you're SpongeBob, nah, you gotta nah. go. Yeah. No, no. Bitch. When you're when 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 SpongeBob, it absorbs. It, yeah. takes it, it does absorb. You are right, no. but you gotta chill with that. No, you shit. gotta save your SpongeBob. You gotta say, "I'm ready, bro." That's it. That's so I, do. He gotta I, chill. I didn't see the show. I don't know what that even means. I don't know. You're the only one laughing. <laughs> that's, that's, that's his thing. That's like his catchphrase. We're old. That's his catchphrase. Is this what it's like being you when we talk about movies? Yeah, we're like backdraft, and you're like, yeah, fuck. Exactly. All I'm trying to say is, yes, I get it. He's like, I'm never. Never gonna get this opportunity again. I gotta jump on it. She's dangerous. That is a wild she thing. She's dangerous, bro. But you, listen, as a dude, you gotta be, you know, on your P's and Q's. You don't think you could get something better than that? <laughs> no. <laughs> now you're a hater. Come on, you don't think you're a hater, you, you're a hater bro. Why are you you don't think he could get something. What about Margot Robbie when she's single? You don't think Ethan Slater could slide in them DMs? My and man get that? clicking his heels together in this picture. <laughs> it's unbelievable. You yo. don't think women son, are into son, that? this guy? <laughs> this guy gonna get another Ariana Grande whenever he wants and you take the seize the day you. bro thank you seize the day he does have Six Flags mascot energy yeah. in that picture <laughs> and, dun, 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 and dun, the dun, biggest dun, pop star in the world is like yo smash and you go yeah he's straight on Broadway though right what does that mean uh, he's got Straight guy, lead. Oh, that's another thing. He's been through. That's options. the thing. Like he's been through pussy. Like he's been through oh, no. Broadway pussy. What? He's bro. gotten girls. 100%. Every straight dude in ballet or Broadway smashes absolutely yeah. everything. Mm -hmm. And they're, they're not A-list. Nah, he passed. Yo, son, uh, this is high school. Son, 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 son. Yo, 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 this yo, is high school sweetheart. He was with. He cheated on nobody. He waited. Black he was cheating Swan. The whole time. Yo, <laughs> Black Swan. Natalie Portman. Exactly. He got Natalie Portman. Yup. Wait, what? Ballet. The creative director that did Black Swan. Now. Yeah, but he's not on Broadway. But he's in the ballet world. Yeah, but he's not on Broadway. No, but he, they got the, listen, <laughs> so like, let me explain what, what let me say what they he's trying to say. They made on a movie set. I know, and like, can, what are you talking about? Can I just explain no, 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 what he's trying to say? Is, if you're a straight guy in the dance world or the Broadway world, the level of confidence you have from every single woman that you're interacting with, that you're spending literally 18 hours a day, Throwing pussy. Think about it. It's not only are you the only straight person that they're interacting with, they're the most insecure people on the planet. We're talking about Jesus actors Christ, and bro. ballerinas <laughs> who are told constantly they're not good enough. And then there's one straight dick that they all have to share. And when, it's never alone. The premier ballerina, ballerina or whatever is always what to do. So the other underling ballerina is like, oh, if I could only have that one straight dick. So their egos are here. You've never even seen an ego like that. So he probably walked on set with Ari, whatever her name is, and he's just like, fine, I'm gonna throw her some fucking sauce. Yeah. <laughs> A little you know, sea cucumber? That's it. I'll it. throw a little sea cucumber. I'll do it. I'll do it for charity. You know what I mean? Yo, why are you letting her off the hook, though? She married, too. You soft, bro. You mad blue pill. Bro, Can I be a so He's such a it's cuck, dude. He's bro. such a cuck, dude. Bro, once you guys realize that the patriarchy is responsible for everything bad in the world, then you'll finally be at a point where you could tuck your cocks between your legs and jerk off backwards in a mirror. Oh, <laughs> nice. You know what I mean? You could do it. I'm surprised you stuck that landing. Yeah. I didn't know where you were going. Yeah, he was running out of breath, but he got it. That was good. I got it all out. I got it all out, dude. I might not be fucking SpongeBob on Broadway, but I got it all out. Now he's hating. You are a Hater, bro. Yo, fuck you. You're a <laughs> hater. You're, a hater. <laughs> You're cool. You're a hater, bro. I I how you it. brought those pictures up? Man. I just googled his name, bro. Nah, you could have found some. Which one pictures. you want? Which one you want? Also, big feet. <laughs> Wait, him? Bro? He kind of look like Ariana Grande. I, I don't even know if I don't even know if that's not Ariana Grande. <laughs> Did she change her hair yet, or she's still just doing a ponytail? I don't know. She has never not. Been in a ponytail. Let's go, baby. Yo, you. <laughs> yo, Mark is in. I'm, I'm on his side. I'm bailing him so out. You're an animal, Mark. I'm bailing him out. You're an He's animal. a theater kid his whole life. All of a sudden, he gets given the like a Faustian bargain. You trade your whole life for the greatest pop star ever. And you go, yeah, it's a tough decision. And all the guys that are saying, oh, I would never do this. No, no, no. You could never. Oh, Ariana Grande is never going to go. I understand Faustian bargain, but I'm with you. That's though. my That's point. A good point. Like, uh, That's a good point. I'm you, on his side. You yeah. guys are hating on him. Yeah, he's out here blaming men for everything. Yeah. He's women it's for men's their fault, infidelity. bro. It's <laughs> fucking men's yeah. fault. I understand his soft. Position. My man's man's soft. I, know, I don't care, dude. It's men's fault. You got soft. Look at you, man spreading all over the couch. <laughs> yes. Man spreading over the couch. You know what I mean? Like. <laughs> <laughs>
you know, you're you're doing whatever you can. <laughs> <laughs> just saying, like, it's disgusting what men are doing out there, taking advantage of a poor girl like that. She's a married woman alone in London. What do you think she's going to do, dude? What do you think she's going to do? A, what a fucking jerk that guy is. And alpha, look at how alpha he is. Don't zoom joke your way out of this. Don't joke your way out of this. Right Don't there. joke your way out of your real opinions. Z zoom in on that picture. Son, son, what happened to the guy that had a problem with women swimming? Look at that alpha male right there, dude. <laughs> Look at that fucking alpha male this barely guy two weeks ago, getting his fingers around that spatula. Look at him barely being able to hold a spatula, dude. Think about how you alpha he's got to be, dude. You changed Think in two weeks. Think about that. Like, look at this. Look at, go in closer. Go in fucking closer. Yo, you changed Look at, Look though. at the shock and awe. Hell yeah. Anyway, the point is, you're fucking... You are one of the worst human beings in history. <laughs> what did I do? What do you mean, you what really did you do? Are. What do you mean? You're a piece of shit. I'm saying I'm on I, your side. I, I you did, his, you did that thing where you listed his credits as if you weren't making fun of him, even though you were, <laughs> and that's the meanest thing you can do. Yeah. Because you're not making fun of him, you're, you're just saying them, and then you make us do the work of yeah. making fun. Because you don't respect Broadway. So at any Broadway show I could say, you'd be like, that's facts. Watch, ready? Oh my God, pull up his Wikipedia picture. Oh, this stop is it. Crazy. Oh, stop it. How did he get up at a picture? <laughs> son, 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 son. Yo, on, hey, hey, son. hey, EDP out here, bro. bro. <laughs> my man looking like an EDP. What the fuck, bro? <laughs> I'm saying he did, he, he won. I'm on his side. He won. I bro. am as well, dude. We're on the same page. You're just jealous of him very clearly. That's the only won, thing I, I'm noticing. Yes. <laughs> he won. It's more on her than him. I take back everything. Exactly. I said, bro. <laughs> so Thank you. Hey, I take welcome back, back dog. Everything welcome I said back. when I looked at that one right there. That is do your nuts. motherfucking thing, boy. That's nuts. Do your thing, boy. He's up. Do so, your thing, boy. If he makes that hairstyle popular, then <laughs> he's Riz God. <laughs> City boys are up. Like, that's what I'm saying. He went from Broadway great. to fucking Ariana Grande. Drew, Respect. you got to do that. To MSG. Bro. Fuck yeah, you, Alex. That. <laughs> so, Fuck you, you Alex. Gotta you got to do that. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Stupid fucking hat. Dumb fucking hat. <laughs> <laughs> fucking idiot hat. Look at his dumb fucking hat. <laughs> you oh, stupid God. idiot. Oh, okay, God. listen. Let's talk about fucking Alex as being a jerk and an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, what else we got? Oh, uh, Cardi B threw a mic at someone that threw water at her. Justified or not? You got to do it. We got to start fighting back. They throwing shit at performers, bro. Event Cardi got to take a stance. Or, or there a security guard got to tackle someone who throws some shit. Some yeah. pain needs to get inflicted on the yeah. people throwing yeah. in order for other people to be like, okay, it's not worth the moment. Because yeah. right now, it's worth the moment. Yeah. You throw it, you look You get a free microphone? Like, dude, this yeah. is a great yeah. deal. Like, these are expensive. It's at least $800. Yeah. Bro. Do you think they took it back? That's fire. Yeah, 1,000%. <laughs> Dislodged it from the guy's fucking head. 1,000%. Yeah, and so man, I don't know. And you get to sue Cardi for a bunch of money. I wonder if, I don't know Fuck if you that. get to. Because it's retaliatory. Can. He threw water. If it some, hit someone else, then it is. But if it hit the person who threw the water, that's retaliation. I mean, she can be sued, but I don't think any court would pass it. If I throw something at you and you throw something back at me, what are you suing me for? I, I still don't think you're supposed to go to the authorities and be like, hey, this person threw something at me. Fuck that. What is, I was crazy for a moment. What's that called? Temporary Momentary, insanity. I was insane for one moment. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you threw a slushie at me. I went crazy. Maybe that might hold. I went crazy. <laughs> bro, I went crazy, bro. I went SpongeBob. <laughs> so I went SpongeBob. So how tall is my man? That, that's another thing. Like <laughs> height does Why factor you keep into it. Up, bro? Nah, height, height, now, height factors it. into it, bro. If you a short king and you get offered some blue check box, you should be able to cheat. Yes. I like this. Throw it. <laughs> <laughs> He is five foot seven. Hey, bro, that's hey, a good height. No way, bro. That's a good five height. sevens get to cheat. This son. is my point, dude. Shut up, Mark. This Fucking is my Fausty. point. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Shut oh the hell god. up. Oh my god. You know what I mean? <laughs> you, you, you a fan of him, so you know all his. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know his, I know his hits. Bro. You know his fucking baseball card. <laughs> we don't know none of that shit. You know? Dickhead. Uh. <laughs> But yeah, nah. All right, back to Cardi. That was stupid. 
No, it's stupid legally, but it's good for all performers that they know that there's some payback. I, that's what I agree with. Because uh, I'm going to be honest, apparently earlier she was saying throw water at my, my ass or something. And she was singing uh, wet oh, ass pussy. Oh, she did that? Yeah, and then somebody threw it at her face. And then she was just like, I said throw it at my ass, my, my coochie, not my face or something oh, like that. Oh, if she said that, that's, I didn't notice. But also, you know, motherfuckers are throwing stuff at people in the audience. They should get, they should get fucked nah, up. She said it. That's yeah, crazy. Like. They should get roughed up, though. Also, great arm on her. I don't think anyone's really pointing. It was good. Oh, that was good. I mean, she's right? from the Bronx. She switched hands, lefty, and then drilled it. Yeah, yeah. she grew up Yankee Stadium. Yeah. <laughs> she knows how it's done. She's been watching. Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, but yeah, people have been throwing stuff. I saw someone threw uh, something at Drake. You heard about this? Oh yeah. I mean, titties. Yeah, oh, giant that, titties. Yeah, pads. giant titties. Yeah. That's the other thing. It's like there's so much positive feedback to throwing shit now. Like that shorty that threw her bra up. She got the Playboy. deal with Playboy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Drake kind of encourages it. Hell yeah, he does. Yeah, yeah. Drake's MVP, Drake's, Drake's a heavy king, bro. Drake's a heavy king, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? Shout out to the heavies. She got a deal with Playboy, dude. Oh, we all went to the Drake show. Did we talk about that? No, we didn't talk about the Drake show. Thoughts? I thought it was awesome. Yeah, production fantastic. Production absolutely fantastic. <laughs> and the amount of money, I don't even think the, the fans Bruh. understand the level, like the, the, the amount of money that he spends to make the show like that. This is going to sound like I'm pocket watching. I'm doing the opposite. But it's like I was talking to the people at MSG and they were like, this is an arena show. This, sorry, this is a stadium show that has been put into an arena. In other words, the amount, the amount of, of trucks, production and all trucks that. Trucks specifically. Yeah. There's like 49 trucks or something wow. like that that are traveling with all the gear. And it's done in an arena. Normally that would be in an arena 15 to 20 18. for a big show. Yeah. So that's all. Think about it. that's just for anybody who comes and watches the show. That's reinvestment into the fan experience. Yeah. That's money out of his pocket yeah. for the fans to enjoy the show. Yeah. That is an unbelievable. Yeah. That is an unbelievable thing and unbelievable dedication to a curating an awesome fan experience. And that's probably why he's been one of the reasons why he's been on top of the game for so long because he is making sure that every time he goes out that the fans appreciate yeah. it. My theory on that is. I don't, he's never really had the show that people talk about after. Oh. Like they've always been good, but you know how everybody talks about Kanye's show. Yeah, they talk about yeah, Travis' yeah, show. Yeah, they yeah. talk Weekend. about Jack. So, so he's think, like, all right, this is one thing we got to check off. We yeah. got to have Illis live show. Check yeah, it I mean, yeah. yeah. And again, I, Drake is not necessarily for me, but I understand this guy's probably going to go down as the greatest ever. Mm. And I didn't see the show, but I, I keep hearing about it. He's, and he just seems like he's incredibly thoughtful in everything he does. Mm -hmm. He does an interesting thing, though, which is like he purposely like raps kind of like off beat at times. And I'm assuming purposely because the guy is a professional rapper can yeah. do what the fuck ever he wants on a beat. And, uh, but I wonder, I have to ask like why that is and what it is because what it does is when you're in the crowd, you want to rap along with the song, but it throws you off a little bit from rapping along with it. So he'll like create his own other version of how the flow would go. Does that make sense? Yeah. Did you guys notice yeah. this too? I noticed that. So, yeah. and I'm assuming this is all done because he believes that that will curate the best experience. But as someone who this is my first like big Drake show, I was like, oh, I kind of want to rap along with the song the way I know it. Mm -hmm. And then it kind of made that a little bit difficult. Yeah. Again, I wish that I had seen another Drake show so I could be like, oh, it's actually cool to hear this other stimulus because you know how the song sounds. Like, maybe that's what it is. I, have you gone to more than one? Yeah, I've seen previous Drake shows. There. And does he do it at those shows uh, as well? No. So this is the first time he did it. It's the first tour that he's doing this. Yeah. And did you prefer before or this one? Before. Interesting. Uh, I like being able to rap along with the song and then... If he doesn't say a word, you just hear the crowd oh, filling up awesome. the word. Yeah, Bro, but, one of the coolest things about going to uh, uh, any kind of religious moment, you go to a church, one of the things you're going to a uh, concert is seeing how excited the people get rapping along. Like I find myself watching the people and these girls and dudes were having the fucking time of their life rapping along to the bars. And especially when he was just letting the audience sing it, yeah. when he like pulls the mic back and now it's your time to shine, your time to show how much you appreciate the artist. Yeah. So yeah, I thought that that choice was interesting. I'd be curious to ask him. I'd be like, yo, why do you choose to do that thing? Because for me, it threw me off a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah. the whole show is so curated, I'm assuming there's a reason. There has to be. No, yeah, yeah. it's definitely Everything done is thought yeah, about. Yeah. Yeah. Like, even the break, there's a moment, I don't want to give too much of the show away. I don't know how that works with, with artists. Like, maybe it's... 
I'm curious, because with the stand-up, I wouldn't want people giving my show away, mm -hmm. but maybe with an artist, since you're already familiar with the music, you that's an okay thing to talk about. Mm -hmm. But there is a moment of the show where he like turns it into like a club, and you play like the dance song, like kind of bangers, and it's just an interesting choice, where like in the middle of the show, he's in a DJ booth, yeah, and then just creating like this different vibe. I loved it. The way he did it was so smart, yeah. fucking brilliant. Like instead of standing on stage while it's just dance beats. He goes in the DJ booth and actually like makes it about everyone else that's there with the people they're with. Yeah. Like there's so much psychology happening throughout the show that I thought was really clever. Really like I said, smart. I don't want to give it away, but like there's a the way he utilizes like the space that he's in. It's this massive arena and he's like every person that's in there, I feel like has a moment where they're like, "Oh, I'm close." Yep. And great like, community building. The way he builds community and yeah. then the way he's like making the audience feel like they're getting the most amount of show possible at the end. Yeah, like, let's not give brilliant. away a few of the things he does, but it's that there, there's some very this is really thought about. Yeah. And really fun. And he's not a lazy performer. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's certain rappers that like go out there and they just try to be cool and they just chill or whatever yeah. like that and it's just like boring as fuck. Yeah. His singing voice was great. Yeah, that, was yo, great he was singing, singing. singing, singing. He was singing, singing. singing. Yeah. But yeah. he's going after it. He's moving around. The stage yeah. is even dynamic. Different parts of the stage are raising yeah. up. The whole stage is a LED so you can create different projections on parts of the stage. Mm. So the stage itself is part of it. Like, it was very... And then the catalog of music is so strong, like. Yeah, it's like one of the advantages of just having a decades of albums that come yeah, out that people yeah. love, you know, that you can, yeah, go through them. It, it, it's hard to talk about it without like revealing some of the things you want to be a surprise for the yeah, audience. Yeah, yeah. But it was very, it was very cool. So I saw his show and I was like, oh wow, it's fantastic, all the stuff he's doing. And then yesterday I see Beyonce's show, amazing. Break Amazing. it down. For those and who don't like, know, it's a So she's thing. doing a combination of her old stuff and the new stuff. It's probably a little bit more of the new stuff. So I'm not that familiar with the newer stuff, like the dance album that she put out or whatever. But it's still, it's so stimulation everywhere. Background dancers, the crowd is going nuts. Everyone dresses up for a concert. Oh, that's fire. So like every, it looked like Burning Man. Yeah. Just, that's just fire. bedazzled and gaze everywhere. Yes. But um, yeah. That was probably one of the best concerts I've ever seen. Really? Yeah. And how does she create intimacy in such a huge stadium? Same as Drake. Like, she has a stage where it's like she's kind of walking aisles. So she kind of gets. Are there screens close. everywhere that you can lock in? Huge guy, gigantic screen. And where are they located? Like, they're Above right behind her? No, right behind her. Oh, is the, is the show on one end zone? So yeah. she's not. Oh, yeah. she's not it's doing the round. This is what Taylor Swift did also. Yeah. Bring it up. She did, oh. I told you she did the Cowboy Stadium, AT&T Stadium. Yeah. It's 100,000 at seats, but she cut it to 70 and did it three times, which is insane. But I'm assuming she just, just stayed in the end zone and performed. But yeah. keep in mind, it's 100,000 that seat for a football game. Yeah. You know, now you have all floor. the people that are on the floor. Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. yeah. So she cut it down probably a good amount to make it as intimate as she could. Oh, wow. Uh, bro. No, but fine. There's a certain stage design. That's like, no. and that wall is so big. No matter where, if you're in the nosebleed, you're still enjoying the shit because out of Because you're show. looking at that giant video yeah. wall. It's not this. Interesting, bro, interesting, it interesting, was interesting. Phenomenal. But something like this, Al? Yeah. Got it. So she has two different runways that she could walk out. And there's a camera on her locked at all point in all time. Times, and yeah. then everybody are looking at those screens in yeah. behind to, yeah. to okay. It's and the sound in that big place. Sounds crisp. Perfect. perfect. Wow. Wow. Like you you know that they put like there's a huge team on this, the amount of money. Like if Drake's spending money, she's spending double. Wow. Just put it like that. Wow. <laughs> It's crazy, bro. But also, wow. do, does the arena or a stadium give you more production capabilities than an arena? I don't know. Like, are you able to do more? I wonder if, like, there's a... Probably. She you got to She was doing it. shit where she's, like, floating and shit, like... Fireworks, probably. And yeah, all that. Yeah. Wow. So, it was phenomenal. We need someone to go to Taylor Anybody? Swift to see, to compare them. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, you see yeah. them three. I would, I would check it out. I would, too. Bro, 100%. I want to go to Taylor I'm a Swifty. I don't know what that means, but I... I... Nah, if it's the biggest tour ever, it's probably pretty good. I'm trying to go next week. Where, where at? In L.A. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Can't wait. Yeah, that'd be fucking sick. I mean, you just got to see it. You just got to see it. There's going to be aspects of the Beyonce show or Drake show or Taylor show or any of these things done on the highest level that you're like, oh, wow, those are great things. Yeah. We need to find a version of that that works for us. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah, 
It's just like it's just like you're a young filmmaker and you see Tarantino put out a movie and you're like, oh, I didn't even know that you could mess with time yeah. and the story could still make sense. Yeah, yeah. Like, and at its best, a live show is its own performance. Like, just because you're great at music or great at any art form, does not a live mean, show transitions to a different thing. Yeah. Listen, the reality is, is that even if you don't like Taylor Swift, yeah, you probably know more of her songs. She's bangers than everywhere. A new artist that you will like. Yeah. <laughs> so you can't even say you don't like her. Yeah. We're all Swifties. Like your body <laughs> yeah. likes her. Yeah. Your body has memorized her songs. Yeah. The point is, yeah, yeah, we're all Swifties. That that is it. We are all Swifties. Whether you like it or not, that's the power of music. Whether you like that person or not. You don't gotta like her as a person, but her the music, music you goes. know it and it oh. slaps. It goes, bro. No, she got some slappers. She Team did. Kanye, fine. But the music slaps with Taylor. Yeah, bro. That was the best. You belong with me. Shake it off. Shake it off. Shake yeah. it off. Save a blank space, baby. I don't know that. And I knew change. you were in trouble when you, you walked, walked in. in. Yeah. I knew that one. Bro, love story. <laughs> Say yes, darling, oh, and you will never be afraid. Oh, I know that I one. Love you and that's a, yeah, that was a banger. Keep going. I wonder how many we at least know. We are from. never, ever, ever getting, getting back, back together. together. Keep going. Oh, bad blood. I don't know where that Maybe goes. Maybe we like. got bad. Oh, yeah, bad blood. Yeah. Oh, it should yeah. be mad of. So think about it. You going into the concert like I'm not even gonna know anything, yeah. and then you know twenty of the fucking songs, oh, wow. all the chorus. Uh, teardrops on my guitar. That was like her OG hit. How did it go? I don't know. No, no. It's, it's basically just like you. I've teardrops on my guitar. It's like the most basic like country pop song. Great. She was like 14 when she made it. Great job singing. Our song. <laughs> Our song is the slim screen, screen door speaking that out, way tapping on your window. I think I know that. When you're on the younger, phone right? and you talk real slow. That's when she was. Guys, thank you so much yeah, for I listening know. to Flavor. <laughs> yeah, I just. Uh, we bro, appreciate me, you. We love Yuri, you. That shit goes Swifties, hard. You know what I'm saying? Dude, today was a fairy tale banger. Bye. White Horse.